Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing? Happy Wednesday. I hope you guys have been having a good day. Who's talking already? Talking about Melly is always late as usual. It's six o'clock. How am I late? Stop it. Uh, Jasmine is here. She was here before me, so she's not late. She's actually early. So let me say hello, and then we're going to bring up Jasmine real quick. So, okay, guys, if you want to come and talk to Jasmine tonight, what you do, you send me an email at melimonaco1 at gmail.com, or you can just um, help yourself. Wait. You can just help yourself by uh, clicking the link in the video, uh, in the description. I can talk already. In the description of this video, and then you can just come on and talk to the beautiful Jasmine. Yes, that's what you can do for yourself. Uh, what, what else we got to talk about? Let me say hello, and then we're going to start right in. Hello, Eddie. Uh, Shahwan is here. EVS Parsley. Devin Bucks. Uh, Carlos, what's up? Shushu. Snowed in? Uh, no, it's not snowing in LA. Uh, spicy Noodles, hello. Sean Charles. Uh, no, that's not your name. Sion. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, Roscoe Jose is here. Hello to Six Janoy, Devin Bucks, DR334, what's up? Maurice Armstrong, JC The Truth, Trey Berry, Makanga, everybody here. Okay, everybody here. We're going to, um, okay. Uh, okay, so uh, Jasmine, I'm telling you already, we have requests. They say, let her be fit, feminine, and friendly. I think she's all that so far from what I, I could see. Uh, so we can see a love connection. Well, next level fear, since you're talking and your picture seems like you're good looking. So, hey, if she's all of that, you better show up. That's all I know. All right. So we're going to start with uh, Jasmine right now. Let's go. Hey, girl. Hi. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. Okay. Awesome. How was your day? Uh, the day was good. Just a lot of uh, work and running errands, but everything was good. Everything got done. So, okay, awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, do you fit what they what they're talking about? Fit, feminine, and uh, what was the last one? I forgot already. Fit, feminine, and fun or nice? Something nice. Like I think yeah, something like that. Are, are you uh, all three? Yes, I am all three. Well, I could see the fit and feminine. I didn't know about the nice. <laughs> yes. I'm <Okay>. nice. <laughs> I'm going to be nice tonight. Okay, good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so um, would you like to tell us about yourself? Um, oh, I just hate and love this question. Um, so I'm from Houston, Texas. I am 38 years young. Mm -hmm. Um, birthday next month, March 15th. Yeah. Nice. Um, what else? Um, I work in oil and gas here in Houston, been in corporate America a long time. I own a store, a boutique, it's clothing and jewelry, Zoe Mar, Z O E M A R dot com. Um, my little baby. I don't have any children. I don't have any pets. I am single. So where are the good looking men? <laughs> hey, okay. Hey, because you know, sometimes often I bring women um, who are maybe single moms and my child be like, oh, why again? A woman without, uh, uh, with kids. I'm like, you stop it. Like, I'm sure they be talking when they themselves, they have kids. So yeah. Hey guys, you see tonight I have a, a woman for you with no kids. With no kids. Yes. Do do you want some or no? Uh no, no, I'm good. I'm good. Like I say, I'm 38. So when you know you get kind of around to this age, normally men are gonna have kids anyway. Mm -hmm. So I'm good with being the cool stepmom. <laughs> so you are okay if they have kids? Uh like one. <laughs> what well, about what about two with the same woman Was two kids with the same woman yeah that's like perfect but yeah let's keep it to a minimum guys please okay, okay. <laughs> we we good with that okay uh what else so um, uh what do you like to do um so i work out a lot i work out a lot um i work on zoe more a lot so that's i mean that's really my main thing work work out 
I hang out with my friends. Um, I read. I like a lot of self-help books. Um, I'm reading one now. I can't even think of the title, but it's like on uh, manifestation. Um, I was gonna watch Snowfall tonight. Okay. I want to my my shows. Uh, what else? I love to go out to eat. I love to travel. Um, you know, good conversation. Just I think kind of like the normal stuff. But what I'm doing like day to day is working. I work very hard and then working out. I work out every other day. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. That's good. Yeah. yeah, I I saw I saw the booty. I was like, oh yeah, she be working out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I gotta stay in the gym to keep my butt right to keep everything looking good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm working on mine, working from uh, at home. You know, uh -huh. working out at home. It's not coming, but hey, I, I have faith. It's coming no, one day. Just keep it up. Do legs like every day. Oh, it's every day. Yeah, that's what I do. I only do legs and booty. That's it. Yeah, every day. Mm hmm. Okay, so so okay, let's talk about the men that we're gonna find you tonight. How, um, what is like the some of the qualities he needs to have? Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> so this is, you know, I always say you can't really ask for things that you don't necessarily have going on yourself. Mm -hmm. so want a man. He doesn't have to be like super fit, like a, what do they call it? Um, he doesn't like have to be a ham, like in the gym or it, it doesn't have to be like that. But I do want somebody that works out, that takes care of their body, that cares mm -hmm. about how they look. That's kind of going to, you know, eat right and do the things that they need to do. Um, that's important to me. I will admit that I like tall. I like dark you know um I, I i guess i do kind of like an athletic build um i need somebody that's clearly financially secure i do i do pretty well for myself so i'm looking for a guy that is going to be stable that um you know that's going to be pretty how do i put it do you say well off well to do he he needs to come with it financially okay um I'm looking for a guy that, you know, likes to travel. He has to have a great sense of humor. Um, you know, not to, I don't like, like really pretentious and, you know, just somebody that's kind of like cool and laid back. Um, um, you know, believer in Christ, that's absolutely important. Um, I don't know. Okay. All those things. Is that, uh, that's a must? The, the religion? Uh, yeah, I'm, we're not doing atheists and all. You have to have some spiritual background. I'm not saying you have to go to church every single Sunday, but I'm super spiritual. I'm super spiritual. You will hear, you, you will hear me talk about God a lot. So mm -hmm. absolutely need to have a relationship with God. Yeah, that's important. Okay, so you say he needs to be well-to-do or whatever, how much money we're talking about for the year. So you got to be, you got to, you listen, this is not the 1960s, 70s. You have to be in the six figure land. Um, <laughs> I like, you know, yeah. Tell me if you, if you are making that type of money, mm -hmm. why do you feel the need for the man to make that type or more than you? Well, because of the types of things I think that, you know, I like to do, you know, I thought about this the other day. I was like, I thought about, I'm like, would you be happy with the guy that like, let's say he's a trash man or people that pick up the trash. Mm -hmm. I was like, nah, not really, because it would be very awkward in the sense of, I like to travel. I like to go out the country. And when I, especially when I travel, I like to go big when I travel. Mm -hmm. That's like, you know, and this particular type of guy that maybe has that type of job or income will probably not be able to do those types of things. So for the things that I like, really like nice dinners, I don't do a whole, whole lot. It's not necessary club and that type of stuff. But when I do the things that I like to do, I like to do them in a grand way. Mm -hmm. So typically... I'm going to have to be with a man who can 
do those types of things. And I think to my parents have been married 33 years. My father is the financial provider and not just we never lived paycheck to paycheck. My dad really showed up and showed out. You know, I've been traveling a long time. We've been doing this for a long time. So mm -hmm. I got to see a man that can really handle his business. So it's kind of what I'm used to. Okay. But the thing is, like, if you are doing it for yourself already, having a man with you, it's just a plus, I feel. Oh, no, it's absolutely a plus, but, you know. But you got to pay now? So now you're not <laughs> paying for those things no more? We're going to get into the Bible, too. The Bible, the Bible does say to be equally yoked. And okay. I'm equally yoked with me. I, you know, I need you to be there with me. And to be honest, as a woman, I just think it's super sexy that a man that can, I can do a lot for myself. I've been doing a lot for myself, taking care of myself since I was 17 years old. Mm -hmm. Um. And I can do a lot for myself, but it's even sexier and hotter. A man that can come along and do even more for you. He can show you things that you couldn't necessarily show yourself. Pro uh, somebody that's a provider is, is that's big for me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. What about um, uh, his height? How tall are you? I'm five foot three. So I do like tall guys. Like, that's great, but um, I'm not, I'm, I don't discriminate on height. You know, I think what average height is what's supposed to be for like five, nine, five, ten. I'm mm -hmm. cool with that because normally anybody's going to be taller than me. Okay, so five, nine, we're good. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, so you say you like a chocolate man. Do you date outside your race? I never have. I never have. I like black men. I really do like black men. I like really dark i'm not i don't discriminate on the you know the color preference or side of it but i do like dark but i've never dated outside of my race i'm not opposed to it i just have never gone there okay do you have uh guys from other races coming and talking to you or that don't really happen because me it's like i'm not against dating outside of my race but i don't really do it because they don't talk to me and i'm not really approaching them so what is it for you Oh, no. Guys outside of my race do try to talk to me. I'm just attracted to black men. It's just my preference. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what else? So you can have kids. That's okay. We said. Yeah. And um, what else? What's the, the best, like, something that's, um, how you call it? A non... Uh, oh, like a deal breaker? Yes, pretty much. Oh, uh, that's so funny. Millie, I thought about this today. Okay. One of my a deal breaker, <clears throat> I'm funny about teeth. Okay. <laughs> Who have, can I curse? Yes. If you have a shitty smile, like it's all jagged and messed up and some teeth is missing and we got the, the real yellow. Oh, that's like, mm -mm. that's mm -mm. That's a non-starter for me. I'm funny about teeth. Um, what else is a deal breaker? Can you help him fix them or no? <laughs> or he needs to come with them fixed already? I actually, I wouldn't do this again, but I have, I have dated one guy, that attractive guy, but then it wasn't all the way right here. And he actually did go get his, he went and got a fit and, and he looks great now. He looks amazing, but I wouldn't do that again. Like the whole having to tell you that you need to do that. I would just prefer you come already together. Cause that's not, I don't want to have to fix anybody up like that. <laughs> mm -hmm. I hear that. No, uh, I've done it too. Got a, a guy to do some uh, Invisalign. So yeah, 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 yeah. Now he's smiling to another girl. <laughs> I don't know. When he got veneers, like he actually, when he did the whole, Wow. Great. Okay. We're not together, but now he can go off and get the most amazing women ever. <laughs> <laughs> he is smiling now. Okay. Uh, that's it. Is there any other oh age range? I forgot. So what's the age range you would be okay with? Um, I don't know. I not 20s. You need to be in your 30s. 30s. Like guys, my age, I do notice that like nowadays I get a lot of like 
the younger 30s, which, you know, is cool. It, it all, every situation is different. It would just depend mm -hmm. on the person. Um, so closer to my age, you could be a little bit older, um, but clearly like very, you have to be like in your 30s at least not so to. so 30 is okay Ooh, oh no. I, well it, it depends on the person but that's that's kind of let's keep it at like let's keep it closer to 35 35 okay 35 to what what's the max oh um, i don't know maybe 35 to 45 like i'm not opposed to older men older men yeah okay. yeah <laughs> okay, well, uh, we're, we're going to start then. Hopefully, uh, what you're looking for is going to present itself. Yes. Oh. And um, so just so you know, whenever you, I'm going to bring a, a guy at a time, you can talk to him, ask him questions, he's probably going to do the same. And if you're not feeling the vibe or not really interested or whatever, you can just say pineapple and we'll move on to the next guy. Okay. Okay, and uh, for the chat, guys, if because uh, the chat participates also, so the chat, if uh, you guys are tired of a conversation that's happening, you can just um, uh, do a super chat of fifty dollars, and that's an instant pineapple. So if you're talking too too long, according to the chat, they can kick the guy out for you. Okay, I mean you can still get his info, but <laughs> if you liked him, but if not, they're gonna kick him out for you. Okay. All right, so so let's start. We have uh, Toxic Geo. Hello. Hey, what up, girl? Hi, how are you? Hey, what part of Houston from? I used to, uh, I went to school down there. Oh, so I stay in the uh, Galleria area. Oh, you you, you bougie. You you near Midtown. That's like twenty <laughs> minutes from Midtown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's without true. traffic, without traffic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so you know a little bit about Houston. That's good. Yeah, I lived in Cloverland. I lived in the hood. Uh, south side. Okay. That's like the southeast, right? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah, I got a couple questions. Um sure. so you say you, you 38, right? Mm-hmm. 38, no kids. I mean, I think that's a red flag. What's going on, girl? Why is that a red flag? Girl, you 38. You, you... <laughs> oh no, hold on. Are, are you, you... Are... I'm old or older? Like, what is it? What you saying? Um, do you plan on having kids? Do, do you plan on having kids and like want to get married? In the I want to get married. I don't necessarily want. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So I don't have kids by choice. Why not? Um. Oh, that's a um. Just uh, oh, it's it's just I'm so. Career focused, um, and I'm so focused on other things. I don't think I will really have the time. It's so that's a layered question. Um, I think I don't know, like the world we live in today. It's just so much going on. That's just not yeah. reference. Damn, but since you know, I'm not dark skin. I'm a pineapple myself, so chunk up the deuce like little Kiki. But <laughs> okay, well. Um, so wait, so tell me, because I know you you didn't go into all the details of um, not wanting kids. So do you want kids? You do you not want kids because you're, I don't want to say older, but like you feel like the the age is not appropriate anymore, or you never wanted kids even when you mm -hmm. were in your late no. twenties. At one point, I did want kids, but that was a long time ago. That was in, when I was in my twenties, but. Now I just don't. Mm -mm. It's just it's not necessarily off the table, but it's something that I'm like I'm not too too worried about it. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, let's keep going. I have uh, Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Oh, what's up? What's hey. good? Hey. <laughs> much. How are you? I'm good. Uh... I, you know, I was listening to you, and I might be a little too young for you because you, you <laughs> like uh, thirty-two. Okay. Okay. So, not some too. It's, I, like I said, it depends on everybody. Is different. It would depend on the situation. So you have to tell me about yourself. Uh, I mean, you know, I'm a producer, DJ. Uh, mm. You know, you don't want kids either, so. You know, people want to start their own legacy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, right you now, want kids, Patrick? 
Definitely. Yeah. 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 You know, it's a it's a preference thing. Like I say, when you get like around my age, when I start meeting guys around my age, typically they're already going to have kids. Not every single person, but most well, most people that I know do have kids. So it's, it hasn't been like a like a big issue. But yeah, if we want some kids I'm, over here, man. You're going to have to one of these dudes is going to is going to say, yo, I want kids. You don't have to. Maybe. So nah, that's maybe. Me. It's a, a done deal for you, or you might be flexible. I'm I am flexible. It just really it really depends on the situation. But if you just ask me, do I want kids? I would probably just I would say like, no, nah, it's not. So we, that. Just, so we just gotta impregnate you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I guess I guess oh. we just have to happen and have to really be with the right person. That is really. You know, another part of the reason I haven't had kids has to be the right person. I don't want to just have kids with anybody. What's the right person for you? Um, pretty much all the things that I said that, you know, I want it. I want like stability. I'm looking for somebody. It's really important that you and the person that you're with, I'm big on a connection, like a soul connection and somebody that I can talk to. If I can't talk to you and have a conversation about the most menial things to politics and the sun, moon, stars and quasars, like it's not going to work for me. I tell people all the time, you know, we look however we look now, eventually all that's going to fade. I need to be able to talk to you when we 20 years in, like I need to be able to have that connection. So that's like real important to me. Um, all right. Well, I feel you, but you know, Again, I'm a little too young, so I'm gonna have to pineapple myself too. So, all right. <laughs> so, hey, we're, we're gonna. Are they even hopping on if you know, like, don't even hop on? I mean, because some people would still try to talk, but I feel like he was already saying, well, you're not gonna take me because I'm too young. Mm. So I'm like, if that's the mentality, yeah, you probably shouldn't come then. Cause I feel like you you're kind of open, like you're still talking. You know, it's not like you're like, what's your age? Oh, you're too young. Goodbye. So I feel like, guys, if you're coming and you're a little younger than what she's asking for or looking for, I feel like there is a way. There, there's still a way to talk to her. Yeah, I think so. All right, let's see. Let's see who else we have. Cast. Uh, I don't know. Castarelli, you're here. No. Okay. Come on, hello. Hey, y'all. Melly. Yes. Hey, y'all spin at 50. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, can I cash that 50 and then you skip a motherfucker? Well, yeah, sure. I bet. Say less. Okay, so you're not here to talk. I got you. Uh, Osa, are you here? Your mic is off, Osa. Oh, hey. Hey, yeah, how are you? Melly and uh, hi, Miss Miss Jasmine. Jasmine. Hi. How you say your name? Jasmine. Miss Jasmine. Hi. I mean, Jasmine. Cool. Well, you already know why I'm here, Melly. You feel me? You already know what's going on. Uh, before I even start, I just want to say, uh, you know, what I'm saying, make sure y'all support Jazz uh, Jazzy. You feel me? <laughs> Hey. Why you got the music on? Like, what are you doing? I'm finna, I'm finna freestyle real quick. Ooh, for what? <laughs> yeah. ooh, ooh, ooh. That's how you're gonna get in. Okay, go for it. Little jacket on me, pop a genie if you ballin'. In the rain, I rap, rock a puffer, I ain't flogging. Niggas in the studio, but they ain't in the studio. Fuck it so good, she wanna fill it in her booty hole. Niggas in the rap. Pineapple. Bye. Like, am I being punked? Mel I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? Is that your intro? Oh, God. Oh, my. I don't know. Okay. Let me see. I got Jay. Jay, oh. you here? Jay. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Bless you, Jay. <laughs> Bye, Jay. Uh, JP, hello. 
Hey, what's going on? Uh-huh. Nothing much. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. I got on here before. It was another lady, but I had to step in on you. How you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. You from Houston, huh? I am. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've been down there not too long ago. Um, nice. Yeah, yeah. The Galleria. I stayed at the uh, what's that? The Embassy Suites over there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, what you do for oil and gas? So, um, I I don't really get into everything that I do, but I work in cool. and doing what I've been doing for I don't know maybe four years now. But I've worked in oil and gas for about uh, a little over fifteen years. Okay, that's what's up. I used to work for Accenture, so I was down there doing with uh, one of them oil companies. I can't remember which one, but mm-hmm. yeah, I'm familiar with that. So you travel a lot, huh? Where you been? Um, um. So I've been to, I mean, Paris, Hawaii. I've been to Hawaii, I think, three times. Um, I travel to Miami a lot, L.A. What's your okay? Well, it seems like you're gonna go. What's your favorite place? How about that? Probably Paris was my favorite. You like Paris? Oh, huh? that was too busy for me. I ain't like that at all. I loved it. I loved it. At, it's I've beautiful. Been. During, uh, I went for New Year's Eve, so they still have all their Christmas stuff up, and it's just it's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Melly, you from there too, huh? I am. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've been a few times. I go to Amsterdam every year, so it'd be like sometimes I jump down, sometimes I come back up. So it's cool. Nice. nice. Yeah. yeah. So I'm in security. Give you a little bit about me. I'm in security, so I do uh, cyber security. So that's my day to day. But I do a lot more things. But that's just one of. Them. How long have you been doing that? Man, uh, I was in the navy at one point. So when I got in the military, I think I got into IT, and then I would say probably about ten years now. So I'm in it tough. Where do you live? I live in Atlanta. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I come to Houston, ain't no problem. There ain't no problem getting on no flight. So I, You got on this hat. Do you have on a hat? Yeah, I got on a hat. It's I, just, I don't know. I can sit like this. I can, I don't know. I think, let me move around I, a little bit. I'm going to move around. Let me try to move around. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's better right here. Yeah, my dog going to follow me. Hold on. Oh, okay. <clears throat> But yeah, I'm listening. I'm sorry. It was. Uh, where are you going? <laughs> I was gonna go in my kitchen, but it's cool. I just sit in my office for a second. Okay. Can you see me now? Yeah, that's better. Yeah. yeah. A couple. Yeah. Let me get some computer screen. Okay. But yeah, can you see me now? Is it better? Yeah. That's better. That's better. It's, okay. it's a little bit better. Yes. Okay, that's so cool, you cool. alone are you you got a girlfriend, a wife, you gotta ask all these questions because no nah, no, nah, I'm single. I mean I'm out here, but I mean I'm single. I mean I have my phone when I'm at my phone. So I guess okay. like everybody else. Did you tell me how old you are? I'm thirty eight. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. I turned thirty nine this year, but yeah, I'm thirty eight. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's all- you're single still. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, I said, why do you feel like you're single? Oh, well, I'm divorced, one. I mean, I've been single for, what, five, six years now? Maybe seven? Okay. What's that? 2019. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe three or four years now. Yeah, I have a daughter. Yes, ma'am. So what you want, you say you want to be the ultimate stepmama, huh? That was you said. I, I mean, it do, that doesn't bother me. Like, I, you have to look at it like if you don't want kids, you, I, you're you going to be dealing with somebody that has kids. You know, it yeah. doesn't bother me. You know, I've, I've, I've been in a situation before where I dated somebody that had a daughter and we kind of <laughs> raised her together. So it yeah. doesn't bother me. Yeah, yeah that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Jay, what is something that you add to a woman's life when she's your woman? Oh, man, I touch everything. So I'm 
touch real estate. I touch everything. Stock market. I've been, I, I dive in everything. So truth be told, I mean, if I ain't added to you, I must be subtracted. But I got my own. So it's like I done been. In this. So wait, so you're at only adding something financial? I mean, what you looking for? <laughs> there is more than financial, I think. <laughs> but okay. Well, most women, I'm just going to be honest, most women, like, oh, as long as you stable, like I was listening to her earlier, I mean, as long as you stable and you got a good head on your shoulder, you attractive to most women. So it's just no, what it I is. Conversation is important. Your character is important. Like, agreed, I, agreed. Like, all those things are important. I mean, that's an individual trait, right? I mean, you meet a certain person, you could be attracted to a couple things that they do compared to another thing. So it's like, you could meet another guy, you could be like, oh, I love everything about this man. You get what I'm saying? But it's they probably do the same exact thing. So it's really character. I get it. But I'm just saying in general. So let's say she's not just looking for money. What else would you add to her? Because <laughs> I mean, I'm I think I'm a laid back type of guy, I love to travel. Everything she spoke on, I had to jump on her for that. So Okay. Yeah. But I'm I'm not into I see you had like a, a Instagram and all I don't have none of that. I don't I'm really do none of that. You to hit me on? I don't. How you gonna hit me then? Like I have no clue. I just had to jump on here and say you was beautiful. That's it. Oh well, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but ain't no problem. I see uh, Melly my email. She'll give it to you like that. Okay, that's okay. Cool. That's cool. Awesome. That's cool, Melly. Yeah, we can do that. All right, I'll let everybody else have their chance. So you have a good All night. Right. Nice Thank to meet you, Jay. Same to you. All right. Bye. Did you like him? It was cool. His see, his conversation was good. He, you know, he. Mm -hmm. I, t I keep telling like conversation is important to me. You gotta be able to talk. Gotta say something. So he said he was the right age range. He's my age. He seemed like he seemed good. Okay. All right. Well, try to remember who you like. Mm -hmm. so we can see if we got somebody at the end. Okay. Uh -huh. um, all right. I have Chris. Hi, Chris. Hey, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. Good to meet you, Jazzy. Nice to meet you, too. Yeah. So, you're from Houston. Yeah. Tell me more about you, because I got added on a little bit later. Tell me more about you. Uh, so, what did you hear so far? So, I heard that you're in Houston. I heard that you don't want kids. Mm -hmm. I heard that um, you work in oil and gas. Yeah. And then, oh, oh also, I'm 28, by the way. See, see, that's the part. You young. Did you hear how old I am? Um, no, I did not. Oh, this is always a fun one. How old do? What happened to him? He's probably getting a call. Uh, yeah, right there. All right, what was that? How old do I look? How old do you look? Um, I mean, I feel like you look like roughly around my age, like maybe like later 20s <laughs> that's very good that's very nice but i'm 38 so oh, okay yeah we we kind of spread out that's I, true i don't like yeah 28 would be a little too young for me well that's understandable i mean i will say that i'm i, I am kind of i do have a different life than many 28 year olds i'm already a parent um i already have a career that i enjoy and i'm pretty serious about um you know, I have my passions I indulge in, I guess. <laughs> so I'm laughing at this comment that someone just roasted to me. Uh, but yeah, uh, so, you know, I think I'm definitely interested in getting to know you more. And, you know, I feel like I'm probably not the average 28 year old. See, I feel like all 28 year olds might say that. <laughs> of course, of course they would. Girl. That's the young hubris, right? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm go ahead and pine out for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know? Hey, he's a little young. And every, hey, I'm not the average such and such. Yeah, okay. I know. Mm -hmm. I what know. is it in a 28 year old that you feel like is too young for you? What <laughs> are they missing? You said what, Melly? What is it in a 28 year old man that you feel like won't work for you? Oh, what, okay. what do you think they're missing? 28 is just young. 28 and 38 is it's just that's so that's that's a little too far for me. And I think um I do think 
women mature a little quicker than men and 28 I still think they're gonna there's gonna be a um some immaturities there mm -hmm. I, I don't know for sure he might be the most mature guy ever but this ain't my first time at a rodeo so okay yeah <laughs> I hear you let's see we have uh Jay hello hi I can't hear oh uh, we hear you I can hear the back conversation. I can't hear this conversation. I don't know. Maybe you log out and come back on. <laughs> yeah, because we can't. We hear you. Uh, let's see. I got James. James, you're here? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes. How are you? I'm doing well. How, how are both of y'all doing this evening? Good. Good. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, my name is James. I'm from Houston as well. Uh, but I don't, I don't live there anymore. Uh, I live in the Bay Area. Okay. Um, so I was was curious, like, if you could just kind of choose, like, the most important quality, like, that you're looking in a partner, like, or just, like, two, like, what would you say? Mm, that's a good word. Like I said, I would be connected to a person. A, a real connection where we really like each other is very important to me. Um, and then the second thing would be like stability in, in relationship. Um, being like financially stable is important. Okay, I see. So like they can't be like living on, on their couch on like their mama's couch or like they homeless or nothing like that. <laughs> and so, okay. Oh, Melly, I've been taking care of myself since I was 17 years old and like mm -hmm. everything. So, no, you cannot be your mama's couch. Mm -hmm, I got you. Okay. And so when you say like, like, like connection, like how long would you say like you need to be with the person or like know a person for like this connection to build? Oh, I mean, I don't know. Sometimes certain people have like these kind of instant more connection that happens sooner some people it takes longer i don't know i have no idea okay but but you you've been would you say this connection is like you in love like this is like an in love connection no it's i'm just saying i'm when i say a connection i'm saying i want to be um i want to really like a person genuinely mm -hmm. I, I need to really really like you genuinely okay connected in that way okay that's cool so when you say like when you get to know a person like you try not you like to put off the intimacy like you try to like be friends first and then like you that's, move. that's not necessarily what i that's oh, okay is i have to i want to really like okay I, that is the most important thing outside of looks outside of money outside of anything i need to really like the person okay all right that's fine really really like like the person so like how would they know like is there something you taking it you dragging it baby yeah, okay <laughs> all right my bad comments be careful because some people they got like different like ways that they show that they like a person it, it might not be so obvious oh i don't know pineapple i'm sorry mm -hmm. <laughs> melly's dragging it <laughs> hey you're in control so, I mean, it's so mean, but I'm like, baby, you dragging it. I think I answered the question. He probably didn't have another question for you. And, you know, uh, he was like, eh, I don't feel like you answered the question. We're not going to keep doing that. Sorry. No problem. So t tell me, what is one of your toxic traits? One of my own toxic traits? Mm -hmm. mm, that's a good question. One of the toxic traits about, I, I can be like a perfectionist to a certain extent. And I'm, I'm hard like that on myself. So other people, I expect like, oh, should I say excellence? Like I'm big on, if you're gonna do something, do it, you know, and, and you need to be, you need to be on it. I feel like I'm like really solid in the things that I do. And I'm a perfectionist when it comes to myself. Um, I push myself really hard. So I think other people would probably say I'm the same way with them. 
Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if uh, we we find your man tonight, and <laughs> let's say, and you guys hit it off, and um, it's in Houston, let's say, mm -hmm. uh, and you guys move into a new a new place, who is paying the rent? <laughs> Melly, you got the questions, girl. Uh <laughs> imagine that the man is going to pay the rent the pay the rent pay the mortgage he's paying it uh yeah that's how i see things the the whole amount yeah absolutely yeah okay <laughs> yeah yeah I, I don't so what are we doing with your money <clears throat> um with my money so um, like I say, I run a, a, a business, Zoe Mar, Zoe, Z-O-E-M-A-R.com. Um, and I like to definitely put, you know, like always be putting things in the store, always be um, expanding in that way. Um, so I would definitely be doing that. Um, I don't have a problem with like, you know, when we travel and do things like that because I like I said I like to travel and I like to when I do travel I like to kind of go big when I travel so I don't mind spending money on whenever we're traveling and things like that um but as far as bills I've never thought that if I were married or dealing with a man that I'm going to be uh, paying bills or paying a mortgage. Like I say, I want somebody that's going to provide. And mm -hmm. again, for anybody that's just joined, I grew up in a household. My parents have been married 33 years. My father pays all the bills. Um, Was your mom working? Uh, She worked, but my mom worked part-time four hours a day. and she went See, to so That's different. Your mom wasn't making money like you're making. Yeah, that's true. But my father was still able to provide and give us a great life. So, and there are plenty of men that can do that. You know, it's just because I was having this conversation and um, with a guy <coughs> and we were talking about, you know, a lot of women want a man to, to provide and do all of that when uh, us women are already providing, especially nowadays, you know, it's so many of us who are like career oriented and making good money. And um, my point was, like, what, what is the problem with actually paying some? I'm not saying you pay the whole mortgage, you pay for all the bills or whatever. But it's like, would you rather be single, making all this crazy money and pay all your bills by yourself and pay for all your stuff? Or have a man with who you can kind of like split the bills with because he's not maybe... Uh, making as much as you, or maybe that's his philosophy. He don't want to pay all the bills. He want to split. Yeah. And and then you do have a man that is a good man. Because I feel like a lot of time we just want to say that providing is the main thing that we're looking for in a man. But I'm like, at the end of the day, we are providing for ourselves. So what is the problem with maybe splitting bills? Um, I think it's to each his own. If you want to split bills, split bills. I'm not against. <laughs> You're against not, that for you. That's it's not, not for you. It's not. That's not my thing. I wouldn't be happy doing it. I know. I know me. I've lived with myself a long time. I wouldn't be happy. You took. To, I just wouldn't be happy doing that. I wouldn't be. That wouldn't be my ideal setup. Um. You know. No. I can't see it. <laughs> you meet your, your man like a good man who makes decent <laughs> money but he wants to split you're telling me you prefer to stay single just because the men don't want to pay half while and you're already paying all of it by yourself he wants to live together in a household and we are like splitting bills down the middle now, I, that's a, to me that's a roommate and I ain't never really had a roommate so it would be a no for me when I could actually go out and find a man who's going to do the things and be able to provide the things that I actually want. That would feel like I was settling. Okay. All right. Hey, everybody got their thing there, what they want and what they, they will accept. Yeah. So let's see. We got, um, Rashad. No. Rashad, you're here. Oh, no, Rashad didn't want to talk. 
Prince, hello. Where your shirt at? Hey, how's it going? Is your name Jasmine? Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, how you doing? How, how's life? <laughs> uh uh, manly pineapple. I'm sorry. <laughs> Why? Why? Manny, you doing this on purpose. I feel like you see people and then you bring them in and then and then oh, I, I'm bringing I I'm, I'm bringing who comes in. Oh my god. He came in. Why and, the, what was the no, no 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 okay mm -hmm. let me see because and I don't see everybody too sometimes it's just the picture until they come on uh Jose what's up how you doing <laughs> Hi. Good, how are you? Good, good. How's your night's going? Good. Good. Okay. So Jasmine, how you doing? What's your uh, what's your area at? What's like so where do I live? Yeah. Um, I live in Houston, Texas. Okay. I heard it's pretty hot out there. I never went, but I want to go at some point. Yeah, Houston is pretty much always hot. Today I think it was 80 degrees and what we're we're in February, so yeah. Mm. Yeah. That's pretty hot, but uh, I'm in D.C., you know, so um, D.C., they don't have, like, really uh, cold weather like that. Like, it's no winters, so, like. You said you're. Yeah. And they don't have winter? Nah. Washington, D.C.? Yeah. Pineapple. <laughs> How Washington, D.C. don't have cold? Yes, they do. I live there. It's cold in the winter. What is he talking about? I don't know. Oh, God. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, everybody's saying he's lying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what, what he's talking about. Okay, I, I was losing my mind. <laughs> okay. Okay, somebody said, Jazzy, the type that will call a man at 2 a.m., smash and make get out the ghost what okay guys uh let me see <coughs> i got dark realms hello hey there hey melly i love your show thank you how are you i'm doing good how are you good how are you jazzy i'm good how are you nice to meet i'm doing good nice to meet you you're beautiful thank you very much thank you so um so your my kids are grown by the way so mine are mine are done i'm ex-military i went to film school after the military and now uh, i'm into shooting horror movies and i play music that's what i do okay that's yeah. different. that's different the horror movie part <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, that's why my channel is called uh, Dark Realms. I'm, I'm always doing uh, horror stuff and putting my videos on that channel okay. and uh, just trying out different ideas. I've seen, uh, I was just going to mention that I saw Millie's, some of Melly's rap uh, R&B videos and they're, they're pretty decent. But uh, anyway, I'm sorry. Um, so I'm kind of a, like an adventurous type. I like, uh, I like going surfing and little bit of hiking. I used to ride a, a motorcycle, a Harley. Okay. Um, do, do you like that kind of thing? Or you into bikes like that? I'm adventurous. Um, yeah, I mean, I like stuff like that. I'm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you like the beach? It's cool, yeah. All right. Yeah, you should come down here to Charleston. Charleston's nice, it's beautiful oh, out yeah. here. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm down here in Charleston. We got like three good beaches, lots of bars, um, lots of good night nightlife, great nightlife. Okay. Um, yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay. I'm 43. Mm -hmm. I go to the gym uh, every couple of days. I got a gym right next to my apartment, so I'm always in the gym. Um, yeah. <laughs> Okay. When was your last yeah. girlfriend? Like uh, three years ago. Yeah. Yeah, she was hot. You know, she was a lot of trouble, but too much trouble, so I had to back away. Yeah. How long were y'all together? Uh, we were together 
couple months. I mean, that's not long. You know, I've been in a lot of long relationships, but she was probably the hottest girl I've ever been with. So, you know, I mean, it was just, it was tough. I just, you see the red flags, you got to back away. You can't really, you got to back away and do you, you know? Understandable. Okay. Melly, say pineapple, but. Okay. Um, but I saw in the comments somebody said, um, uh, I don't know, they said something, my money is your money, my money, whatever, whatever. What happened if I don't have the ability? Mm -hmm. That is absolutely what I'm there for. Like, you know, like, if you, nobody's going to leave you if you fall off or uh, you can't handle things or you can't do this. That's weird. Like, nobody's going to leave you. Like, that's absolutely what I'm there for. And that's another thing. Like, I'm one of the women that I will say, I I, I don't want to um, not work. I, I enjoy working. So, mm -hmm. the income. Um but yeah, if you fall off or you fall on hard times, this is life. Life is goes up, it goes down. People make money, they lose money. So yeah, if 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 we're together and something happens to you, we not losing nothing. Okay. <laughs> so somebody says, so basically you're there just in case. Uh, <laughs> that's a good way to put it, but if you wanna if you wanna put it like that, then yes. I'm I'm there and when you need me. I'm your backbone, boo. <laughs> okay. All right. L let me see. Let me see who else we got. Uh we got Patrick. Hi, Patrick. Hey, how you doing? Hi. Good. How are you? How y'all doing? Uh first off, <laughs> I must put this up there. I'm 32. Okay. Okay, I don't I don't know if that's too young for you or not. No, it's, that's not it's not a deal breaker. We talked about teeth being a deal breaker. Your teeth look okay, so. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> I got you. Um, what part of Houston are you from? Um, Gallery. So I, I live in like the center of the city. I got you. Born and raised. Well, so I'm from uh, like the southwest side of town, but um, I've lived in this area close to like 20 years yeah i got you i got you uh likewise i'm born and raised in houston as well uh, okay grew up in the missouri city area okay uh, um a little a little bit about me um i'm in the oil and gas industry as well um i actually um i'm a short tankman for the uh u.s coast guard oh nice uh, yeah it's it's Pretty cool, you know, but it's it's tiresome. So I just worked 14 and a half hours. So I, I be getting it in. <laughs> yeah. Um, how? how long have you been doing that? For two years. Oh, for two years. Okay. Yes, man. For two years. Um <clears throat> uh, but eventually I want to branch off into uh real estate. You know, um it's a it's a really good career. So that's something that I want to use to pour you know, invest into my uh my goals, you know. So, yeah. Um, question for you though. Um, you seem like a well-rounded woman. Uh, you obviously attractive. Um, do you think that you have the abilities to allow a man to be a man? Oh, I mean, absolutely. I, yeah, I do. I do. I would like um, uh, a more. <laughs> I don't know if I want to say dominant, but I, I definitely do like a man who is a man. I, even though I don't want kids, I've, I've always kind of thought about this. Like I, if let's say I was in a situation where I'm with someone and we have a kid and the kid comes to me and says, you know, mom, can I do such and such and such and such? I want to be able to say no, go like, go ask your daddy. This <laughs> <laughs> is the final word. So I yeah. I want to be in a situation where a man is the dominant figure in the household. I have no problems with that. Most definitely. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, yeah, I don't have any kids, uh, so, you know, you ain't got to worry about nothing like that. I don't, um, it's not a deal breaker for me. It's not a deal breaker for me. Um, I'm getting, you know, older and I feel like I don't want to have kids too, uh, you know, too late. You know what I'm saying? So, so you do want to have children? 
I do, but I'm not opposed to meeting someone that doesn't. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so it's, it's not a deal breaker for me. Um, I'm very family oriented. Um, I have an old soul, so you'll catch me, you know, vibing with my, with my wine and, you know, got my candles lit and, you know, jam my old school R&B. Um, you know, that's that's how I am. I'm very simple. Um, I'm not really hard to please. You know, I'm not materialistic. Um, yeah, I just believe in, you know, the beautiful authenticity of just realness, man. You know, a real connection, you know, a real vibe. Um, and I think a lot of people get that misunderstood. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm definitely looking for something like that. Uh, <laughs> somebody said... Girlfriend, you're not married, you're not there. Is there a girl that thinks she's your girlfriend? No, <laughs> single, single. Um, I've been married twice. Oh, I know you married thir twice. 32. Yeah, uh, growing up, I've always uh seen you know people in my family married, you know, that's just what I've seen, you know what I'm saying. So, growing up, I just always wanted to find me a wife build with and you know grow with so not everybody is on the same page and i feel like when i was younger i was just kind of rolling with the punches i wasn't really uh dating with a purpose you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. um yeah so you know but you're living you, you live and learn you know what i'm saying yeah. how long did each of those marriages last well the first one i was cheating on uh that lasted almost a year we were together two years and the second marriage lasted two and a half years and we were together three. So moved pretty fast, you know. Um I do have a big heart, you know, uh, but I I, I haven't go are ahead. You, huh? Are you into astrology? Uh a little bit. Do a you little bit. Time? Yeah, I'm a Pisces. Oh, you're a Pisces like me. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> What it is. Okay. <laughs> cut it out. Cut it out. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, okay. I'm I'm a Pisces. My birthday is actually this Friday. What's this Friday? What's that? 24th. Okay. Okay. Don't My... forget your days. Now you can't forget what days you yeah. yeah. It's so, <laughs> it's so, <good. laughs> when, so when is your birthday? When is my birthday? Mm -hmm. March 15th. March 15th. Okay, so you're March Pisces. I don't know. I heard y'all a little while. I'm I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Pe look, people talking about us Pisces, but it's all good. We stick I, together. I, Pisces are delusional. Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Man, look. I, I, I feel like I feel like, you know, I, I'm different. Um I believe in in the horoscopes to an to an extent. Um upbringings play a major role in, you know. A person's characteristics, uh, values, morals, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, you sound, um, you sound pretty put together. So you probably the person that I spoke to tonight that's like, has it the most together from what I can gauge from this short conversation. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh. I, I, are you on social media? Because I would, I thought everybody was on social media. <laughs> I am. I am. Um, I have Instagram, but I don't really get on it. Okay. Well, you have to get in and then send me a message. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to. This is my first time on here. So, uh, Jay Z is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, I'll be sending you a message. Okay. Okay. It was nice talking to you. Likewise. I have a blessed night. Okay, thank you. Bye. Okay, so what you think? He was nice. He was nice. That's like I said, he's probably the only person so far um, that I was like, okay, he's decent. It's so funny though, because when he said, uh, <laughs> okay, so cancers and Pisces are kind of similar in there. And if you believe in astrology, fine. If you don't, fine, whatever. But they're kind of similar in the emotional side of things. And so it's cool, but um, Pisces men are very, <laughs> I find them to be very interesting. Okay. 
Uh, well, that works. That works. Uh, don't forget, you say you liked somebody else. Uh, yeah. Jay. I can't remember who it was. I'm sorry. You know, his name was Jay. Was Jay? I mean, you can. That's gonna be posted on the on my YouTube. So just in case, he already sent me the email with his number and his email address. So, uh -huh. but if you don't remember him, I guess. Okay. We'll see. All uh, right. I I got Jufasa. Hi, Jufasa. That was going on. Listen, I know you see my name, Jufasa, man, but I'm gonna be Aladdin right now. I gotta make her my Princess Jasmine for real, man. Shit. <laughs> she is too bad. Are you 38 too? Mm -hmm. Like I'm 34, man. I got um, I got to think of older women. Most of the women I date be older than me. I like, I don't know. I just love older women, man. The conversation, just a whole bunch of shit. They don't play. Y'all have a low tolerance for bullshit. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I, I just love that. But, um, when the mother callers, they was talking about. I forgot who it was. He like, man, I want some kids. I don't give a damn. If I get some, I get some. If I don't, I don't. Back then, I was like. I didn't want no kids, but I'm 34 now. They was like, you want some kids now? I said, if it happened, it happened. If it don't, don't. I'm not stressing that shit. I don't give a damn. Okay. Like you, me, I like... You don't have kids now. No. Even though people think I'm hiding kids and shit, but I'm like, nah. You're hiding, hiding kids? <laughs> no, people think people be think I'd be hiding kids. They're like, man, Drew, I know you got some kids somewhere. No, I don't. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah. Miss Jazzy, Miss Jazz, man, what was your um, last relationship like? Oh, that's a good uh, my last relationship. Mm -hmm. mm, uh, I just don't think we were compatible. We should have been friends instead of stepping into a relationship. Um, and, you know, so that's a big thing for me, being friends with someone. Uh, yeah. Like I keep saying this connection and being able to talk to someone. Yeah. He and I had that. And I think I mistook that as, okay, we can be in a relationship and we didn't need to be in a relationship. We would have been much better served as friends. Yeah. Yeah. I mean just friends, man. You know we don't be liking that though. Like we want we don't want we want to take it further with you. You know, guys, man, we try to take it further, man. We don't want to just be in the friend zone. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I understand it. But he and I would have been better as friends and never actually getting into a relationship. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see, man. Like, let's see my like my last relationship was like three years ago. She was like, I said, like five or six years younger than me, and it lasted. It lasted for two years. It just she was like, she started getting a lot of, she started getting insecure about a lot of shit. She always think I was talking to somebody else. She wasn't like this. She was, she wasn't like this before. Though. I don't know where it came from. Something triggered her. I'm like, damn man. I go to the mall. We go to the mall. We see chicks walk by. I might take a glance one second. She's like, why are you looking at her? She just go crazy. She's like, what the fuck? And then it just kept on. It kept on. Oh my bad shit. It just kept on getting out of hand, man. So I we just had to let each other go. After that, after that though, recently, I say bro, like a three, four months ago, mm -hmm. there was a chick that was 40 years old. Now her situation was she just got divorced. We weren't in a relationship. We were just in a situation ship, you know, due to her. You know what I'm saying? Because like, you know, she just wanna have fun. But that was it. That lasted for like probably like a month. You know, she just got out of a divorce and shit like that. So she ain't really want nothing serious, you know. You know how that be. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, Melly Pineapple. <laughs> You're so funny. I don't, because I don't be wanting to be mean, but then it's like, oh. Just say pineapple. I mean, it's not like you saw him, you're like, hell no, pineapple. You you talk and you, I don't know. W what was it? You're not vibing? I, yeah, I just, I really, he, to me, he was kind of like all over the place. I was like, what are you mm -hmm. talking, you're talking about? Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, that was too much for me. Okay. All right, we, we got more. We got glory and praise. Hello. Hey, how y'all doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. How are you, Jazzy? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You know, usually, like, you know, women, you older, so I would ask about the family and stuff, but I can't do that. So what? I would ask you first, like, you did say you was doing good, right? Doing good as far as what? I, I said, how you doing? Yeah, I said I was good. 
Yeah, you're looking good. Thank you. This is a plus. Thank you. Um, I want to ask you though, like, you looking good now. You had to be looking good in your twenties and all of that, right? Even much better. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> oh, no, mm, you never got that in, the, in your twenties. Like, oh yeah, I look so good. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> what does it have to do with the price of tea in China? I, I don't know. I, where is he going with this? Like, okay. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know. Yep. All right. I got Chandler. Hi, what Chandler. What up, Melly? What's up? The uh, Jazzy. Hi. What's good? Hey, uh, you got a business? I do. You wanna? Uh, can I invest in your business? Pineapple. <laughs> No, you don't want him to invest in your business. <laughs> no, okay, I'm good. You're good. Okay. All right, um, let me ask you a question. <laughs> what is a good question? Um, have you ever planned a, a date for your man? Yeah, yeah, what was it? Ooh, um, me planning a date is normally probably going to be like us going out to eat, you know, us going to the movies, even something like a steak, like a staycation or a vacation. It doesn't matter. I, mm -hmm. I, I too, um, uh, took someone that I was in a relationship with on a vacation. We, you know, because I, I see people in the comments with this whole money thing. He and I flew first class. I paid for that. I paid yeah. for that entire trip <laughs> he paid for nothing uh, he did pay when we went to dinner he did stuff like that but that was something that I wanted to do for him so um that um and it, like I say I love to go out to eat I love um I love nice restaurants I love ambiance so mm -hmm. you know things like that movies simple simple things that a guy's gonna want to do a basketball game something you know so, okay yeah uh, okay, so tell me, because uh, they, they are asking about your money. So what do you think um, that you, you bring in a man's life when he is your man? What do I think I bring to? Okay. Um, I think I bring a sense of stability myself. I'm very super supportive. Um, like I say, there's a part of me that is a um, perfectionist. So I'm going to be the type of person that's going to like push you. And whatever it is you want to do, I'm going to be your biggest cheerleader. But I'm also going to push you to make sure that you're doing that, whatever that thing is, the best. And I always have a lot. I'm big on ideas. I have a lot. I think a lot. So I have a bunch of ideas, a bunch of different things that I'm going to come to you with. Um, I think, you know, I cook. I clean. I'm the type of person, if we are in a household together, I don't necessarily... I don't need a man to clean a house. I don't need a man to cook a meal. Um, I don't really need those types of things. I actually want to do those types of things. Mm -hmm. um, I, Cause honestly, I think I do it better anyway. <laughs> but I, you know, I'm gonna bring that to the table. I'm gonna bring the looks, the sexiness, the intelligence, like you're gonna get all of that type of stuff with me. I like to think that I'm a pretty well-rounded person. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what was your longest relationship? Uh, my longest relationship, I think, is three years. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the chat talking crazy. What are they saying? Please. What, <laughs> some of them when they pop up, but I'm not looking at every single one. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, they didn't like the, the money thing. That's for sure. They never do. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. Uh, somebody said he can hire a maid for cheaper. Like, whatever. Uh, what else? I don't know why they're saying you cook crab legs. That's that's good. I don't I don't mind. They, they're talking mess, but hey. Okay. Um, Somebody said, Abu you're abusive. I push you. Stop mm -hmm. it. They're out of control. Yeah. All right, let, let me see. We got, we got somebody else. We got Jean de Dieu. Hello. 
Yo, those people are actually tripping. <laughs> they are trolling. Yeah. What, what's your name? Jasmine. Jasmine. Where are you from, Jasmine? Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. I live a little far, but I'm uh what's a little far? Let's let's what where do you live? I towards Kentucky, you know. Oh, okay. Okay. I thought um, you were going Somewhere a lot of people don't don't usually go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what do you do for a living? So I work in oil and gas. Oil and gas. Uh, did you go to school for that? Uh, yeah. For how long? How long did I go to school? Yeah. Four years. Four years. Do you like reading books or are you just? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what, what's 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 one of your favorite book that you would recommend to any anybody? Um. So. What is the name of that book? Mm -hmm. um, it's actually about the Great Migration. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called The Warmth of Other Suns. Um, and she actually won, I think, a Nobel Peace Prize for that book. But it's about pretty much um, how um, when Blacks moved from the South to the North, when they were leaving the South during like the Jim Crow era, era that's like, I read a lot of books like that. Um, there's one that I read by Elaine Brown. She was like the first uh, woman to be, to run the Black Panthers. So I read a lot of books like that. That's um, I'm reading one now. I can't think of the title, but uh, it's about manifestation. So. That's interesting. You into, mm -hmm. uh, you into philosophy at all? Mm, I guess. Like, what do you mean? Like, just like the way... People mind work, you know, how people see, how people view life, you know? Yeah, because like I say, I read a lot of self-help books, so yeah. Okay. What, what was the, what was the, because I read, I mean, I, I'm, I'm reading Malcolm X right now. I, I just got into it, really, because, mm -hmm. um, I mean, I was kind of like studying philosophy as far as like, you know, money, you know, like mm -hmm. the way people kind of make money and stuff like that. That's why it got me into like real estate. Mm -hmm. But now I'm basically kind of reading stuff like that are towards like, you know, our culture and, you know, how slaves and all that stuff. Because um, uh, we, we never got that before we came to America. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. He's gone. <laughs> even have to say part thank you yeah it's his phone his phone got disconnected i didn't do it either all right let's see i got uh chips, chips? <gasps> hello hello hi melly hi hello jasmine how you doing <laughs> i can hear you hi jasmine how you doing hi yeah, Jasmine, um, I noticed that uh, I, I'm here to entertain you, but I noticed that you're staying in the Galeria area. I've been to the Galeria area, and I got a story about that. Okay. So. Damn. The internet no good. I, uh, <coughs> can you hear me? I took a trip to the Galeria area. So. Can you hear me now? Mm, yeah. I took a trip to the Galeria area. I was trying to shoot a video about International Women's Day. March 8th is International Women's Day. So um, I, I was in the veranda. I think at the center, there's an ice skating rink at, at the center there. So at the veranda, I, it was very busy. So I was just calling someone from the store. Please, could you help me hold my Samsung phone or something? So I think I saw two cops looking at me. I was like, ah, oh. man, I was like, I thought I wasn't breaking the law. I hope I wasn't. That's what I thought. So I just want to let you know I've been to the Galeria area. So I, I, I shot a video of the International Women's Day. It's on YouTube, official chips inspired. So that's it. So my job is to entertain you, Jasmine. And you say you're a perfectionist. I'm also a perfectionist. That's my problem because nobody's perfect, but I try to be perfect, something like that. What? Would... <laughs> <laughs> He's been to the Galleria Mall. If you've been to the Galleria Mall, that's great. <laughs> you don't have to tell me God. okay <laughs> all right let me see i got light bright light bright hello Ooh. oh they put me on the spot right now you feel me live what's going on ladies how y'all feeling 
Good, how are you? I'm all right, just here chilling, watching the movie. What's going on, Jazzy? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm all right. I'm chilling. I'm hanging in there. Good. I missed the whole show, like, so I'm not really caught up on what's going on right now. But, um... You can't come I, up with that. You, you supposed to... <laughs> I literally, literally just tapped in right now, hit her studio, so I could talk to you. I seen, like, the other person talking, but I don't know what he was talking about. Me? <laughs> No. Wait, uh, light bright. How old are you? I'm 34. 34. You have any kids? No kids. What do you do? I'm a truck driver. So I'm okay. a you know, I dispatch truckers as well. I got my own business, my own LLC. Okay. Where uh, Where do you live? Upstate New York. Okay. Syracuse, if you're familiar. Small. I've heard. What about you, Jazzy? Where you from? Uh, Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas. Houston, lay. I want to go there. I ain't gonna lie. Well, um, like how you like how long you been there? You been there for a while, or? So born and raised, yeah. yeah. Born and raised. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I know it's not um polite to ask a female their age, but I know that Melly asked me my age for a reason. Do I look young? Is that is that why you asked me that, man? Or no, I wanted to see if you're in the age range that she's looking for. And how I'm doing? You you uh, good? You good? Uh, Okay, all right, we lit. Okay, that's just stuff. So, um, I don't have no kids. Like, what about you? What about yourself? You got kids? No, I don't have any no kids. No kids? Mm-mm. Nope. Different. Wow, where I'm from, everybody and their mother got kids. So, that's crazy. But... So, see, that's what I'm saying, Melly. Like, you know, normally people already have kids, so it's not a big deal when I say. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, though. Keep keep um, taking your time, you know, until you find the right one. My Thank Cause you don't want to rush it, you know what I mean? You got a lot of kids already growing up in broken homes, so mm-hmm. I'm pretty the type of woman that's educated, got your things together, so you want to do it right when you have your kids, so they have a good foundation, you know? That's why I waited personally. Good. Um, yeah, that's what's up, though. So, um, if you don't mind me asking what you do, I, I see people in the comments saying something about money, like... <laughs> like what, what, yeah, like, what's all that about? Because when I was coming on, it was like, oh, money, money. So what's what's? They don't the- like what I'm saying about money. They're upset with me. Uh, but I work in oil and gas. <laughs> what's that? You said, say that again? I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I work in oil and gas. Oh, oil and gas. Okay, that's what's that's different. Like, what you, like, oil and gas, that, that's, that's vague. Like, what you mean? Like, what you do, like, computer work do you or, like? No, so I was just telling somebody else, I don't get, like, way into what I do, but I work in oil and gas. I pretty much always worked in oil and gas um, for b- about 15 years or so now. But the job that I'm doing now, I've been doing it for maybe about four years. Uh-huh. So. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Okay, take that over. Well, I don't want to hold y'all up too much. I see they going in on me. They mad about here. My hair real. They tripping. But, um... I don't know, like, you got an Instagram, I'm going to follow you on my gram, or, you know what I mean, follow you on the gram, maybe we could chop it up, I don't want to hold you up too much. Um, um, put it up there, it's Jazzy, it's J-A-Z-Z-Y-I-E-S-T. Okay, copy, and I just wanted to let you know, you look beautiful. Thank you. you, thank you. Y'all have a wonderful night, Melly, I appreciate you bringing me on the show. Y'all stay beautiful, stay blessed, stay safe, and Jazzy, I'm going to hit you up, you heard? Okay. Okay, mama, easy. <laughs> Bye. Did you like him? <laughs> no. Okay. It's a no. Okay. You, what you said? You was cool? He was cool. He's okay. I mean, you know. Yeah. Okay. We we are more. David. Ooh, hopefully I'm next. What you said? You was cool? Yeah, you're not next. You're now. <laughs> No, okay, David opening the beer. <laughs> Wait, he's here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, David. Can you turn off the TV? Yeah. Thank you. Hey. What's that? Oh, wait, wait. Hold on. What's going on? Hello? Hi. Sorry, can you see me? Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, how you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm so sorry. My phone's acting crazy. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, so you're in oil and gas? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That's cool. Yeah. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> he left. I didn't do that. 
Guys, oh. stop oh. talking about her job. What is the point? Oh. Like, we, it's okay. like we, we heard what she does, kind of. That's it. Yeah, like... I don't know. They, they like that you're in oil. I don't know if they think that's a good topic to have a conversation about. I don't know. Um, let's see. We got Greg. Hello, Greg. Hi. How are you doing? How are you doing? Good. good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I am. I am not trying to move you, James, but I to have a few questions. Okay. So <clears throat> you say you are you are like a a, a backup to to to, ha to help your your man, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so wh what what could, could you do that a bank could not? That a man could not? No. What could you do that a bank could, could not? A as far as for for financial. What can you do that a man cannot do? That's your question. Yeah. Okay. What can I do that a man cannot do? A bank. A bank. If what now? I'm sorry. A bank. A bank. 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 B a n k. Bank. What can I do that a man could not do? Oh, you're saying. Oh, you're saying. What could I? What can I do? Are you saying like I'm like? That a bank can't do? I'm so confused. I'm sorry. You are saying Melly Pineapple. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just I couldn't. I didn't know. I was really trying. I was say, really... the the chat is saying bank. What is what was he saying? I don't know. I'm trying to read the chat to see if the chat understood, but I thought he just said that. What can you do that a man can do, but that's not what it was. So I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Why are you guys saying merely trolling? I'm not trolling. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I was trying to understand. I, 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 that's why I said merely. Like, what? What are you listening? I was trying. I didn't. I didn't get it. But everybody's saying bank. So I, but I still don't understand. Okay. Anyways, you take a sip of my vodka cranberry. Yes. Let's see. We got seven. Hi, seven. Hey, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hi. Good. How are you? So uh, I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So uh, Jazzy, um, do you like oil more than gas? No, I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm fucking with y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Melly, you. Need that in the bottom of the little thing. She works it all day. I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. No, go ahead. Uh, no, Jazzy, uh, you're very attractive. Thank you. Well, um, I'm local too. I, I live out of Houston. Uh, I'm going to cut to the chase. You know, I just want to know, like, how uh, a man, like, keep you satisfied? Like, do they, like, keep you satisfied, like, with time or buying you gifts or taking you out? Like, what what does a man have to do to keep you interested? In? Mm, oh, that's a good question. Um, first of all, you have to be a a, a good person. Just a, be, huh? I feed, I feed dogs every day in the park. You do what? I'm, I'm, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well, that's nice. That that might make you a good person. But no, you you have to be a genuinely good nice you know like wholesome person um to keep me interested you have to be fun we have to be able to talk I keep saying that it just has to be a connection there um you have to be I do like men that are, are that are ambitious mm -hmm. you have to be like be like working and grinding and you know getting out here and getting it is important to me um have some substance be able to talk about more than what's on instagram you know 
be always uh, like constantly trying to be the best person you can be. I push myself so much, right. you know. So that's something that I look for in another person, somebody that's constantly pushing themselves to be amazing, to be the best version of themselves that they can be. That's attractive to me. Um, that would keep my interest. Um, what else? I don't know. I think those types of things, just having character. Okay. okay. Thank you for something, not falling for any and everything. You know, just character is important. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So do you like uh do you like a man who's like friendly or do you like a man like to themselves? Like as in like like say you go out and stuff like that and like, do you like a man who like is more of like on the protective side of you or do you like a man who like I like a man that's what woman doesn't want a man that she feels like can protect her. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Then can you take your hat off? Yeah, oh no, no, no. I need, okay, okay. I'm cutting my hair. I cut my own hair. I'm not half fishing. You know, I got I got a little ways. I'm a uh, I'm wolfing right now. I don't know if y'all know what wolfing is, but yeah. Oh, no, yeah. No, I'm not half fishing nobody. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. How how old are you? Uh, uh mm. I'm, I'm 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 as old as you want me to be, Jazzy. Uh, 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 that's not that'll no. Nah, I'm, uh, I'm 28. I mean. <laughs> huh? What does it say on your ID? How old are you? 28. I'm 28. Okay. Oh, you. Okay. Yeah, I, I listen, listen. I'm I'm young, but I'm comfortable financially. Um mm. comfortable in my age. I'm um I feel like I'm the man who you just described. So, um if you give me a chance, I can show you that. I know we got an age difference, but I always like my women mature like you because in my age right now, most of the women, they're not mature. They don't know what they want. I do at this age. So, um, yeah. Do you want kids? Uh, at the moment, at the moment, I do want kids. <clears throat> <laughs> Jesse. Melly, you know, I was just clear my throat. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah, I do. I do want kids. Um, like, but it's it's not a deal breaker if they don't. But I don't know. Like, I feel like that's something that I feel like that's something that that needs to build on. You know, like you you build on that conversation. So, mm -hmm. you know, us meeting over online. You know, we can't really have that that conversation. You know, what I'm saying we build on a conversation. We talk about it and we lead on it. Okay. Well, seven. What you'll have to do is my Instagram, send me a message and, you know, we'll, we'll see. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Have a good night. You too. So, yeah? Mm, I mean, Melly, he's, that's a young man. He's a young man. So why are you saying hit my DMs? I mean, he can follow me on Instagram. <laughs> I'm, hey, you can follow me on Instagram. I don't, Whatever, but he's young. He's so that's he, a pineapple. That's not a follow me on Instagram. Oh, pineapple. I don't. Whatever. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to a pineapple like everybody, but like, but you can if you're not feeling it. Okay. Well, he he his conversation wasn't bad. He's just mm -hmm. young. His his yeah. biggest thing was that he was young. Agreed. Let's see. We got more. Jamal, hello. Oh, hi, good night. Good night, Melly. Good night, Jazzy. Hi. How are you? Good. That's great. God already know what he was doing when he made you. Hmm? I said God already knew what he was doing when he made you. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. Tell me something, Jazzy. Um, were you ever married? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so tell me something. Um, <laughs> Melly pineapple. pineapple. <laughs> you didn't help it. <laughs> you both are laughing. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see. I got Tony P. 
Hi, Tony. Hey, how are y'all doing tonight? Good, how are you? I'm doing pretty good. Well, Ms. Jazzy, I have a, a, uh, a couple of questions, I guess. First one would be, I know you said with, with the spirituality or whatnot. Now, how about, um, I know in the last relationship to wit that, uh, that I was in, I guess it came to issues over, you know, how the Bible and stuff was written and some of the things in there that, that where, uh, I guess the biggest example that stands out right off hand would be like the, the slave Bible or whatnot. So that, how do you, how do you know, or, or when you, when you approach things and, and was, I guess it's point blank with the old Testament and the new Testament, do you have one that you would, would prefer over the other? Bible is the Bible. We, we prefer the whole Bible. Uh, you, we live by the things that are in the New Testament, but you definitely have to reference and refer to the Old Testament for wisdom. Okay. Nope, there's not. There's not one part of the Bible that I prefer more than the other. Nelly. Okay. 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 Right. Bye. Yeah. Hey, it's it's your show. You gotta say pineapple. Oh, child, what is the hell? No, hey, I'm trying. Let's let's see what you think of Dorby. Hi, Dorby. Hey, how are y'all? Hey, Melly. Hi. How you doing, Jasmine? Hi. Well, so I was uh, listening to the show, and uh, um, I can tell you're a pretty well rounded rounded woman. Um, I just had some questions as far as like, uh. I know you say you bring a lot to the table, like as far as cleaning, cooking, you could be a, a, a nice, probably wife. Um, do you think you intimidate a lot of men? I don't, I honestly don't know. Um, I wouldn't, I don't know. I don't know if I would say that I intimidate a lot of men. I do think mm -hmm. I get into this situation where I think people see me and they think that I'm one way. And then they meet me and then I'm another way. And I do yeah. think that that makes, I do think that that sometimes makes men be like, oh shit, like this was a little more than I thought. Not yet. Okay. So. <laughs> I, I thought she was the girl from Instagram that looked good and show, you know, you see her ass in pictures and you see this, but she's actually smart and can hold a conversation. And I can tell you can do that. That very, That is very true about you. Um, I'm in sales, so I do talk to a lot of people and I can kind of, I can kind of gauge, uh, a conversation, mm -hmm. uh, with, like how they talk and where they're from, things like that, that nature. Um, as far as, uh, do you, th do you think you're submissive? Could you be submissive or is it, I think I heard that question, but I think, um, being that you have the career you have, which is not bad at all, you know? Is there a masculine trait in there? Like, is there some masculinity? Um, I definitely think that um, I definitely can be submissive. I'm definitely feminine. Um, but I do think, like I say, I've been on my own and taking care of myself for such a long time. I heard that too. I heard that. Develop these masculine traits when it comes to handling business, when it comes to how you do things. I even noticed at work i'm very uh matter of fact so i even notice like uh when i say things to men it's it's just me saying yeah i'm gonna do that or no i'm not gonna do that and men look for women to be more oh no i'm yeah. do it this way <laughs> that's a that's and pretty normal. person so yeah so you would say you intimidate women i mean men as far as what I'm saying. I would say some men, maybe, but it's not me, you know, trying to seek out intimidate. I'm just, I'm very straightforward. I'm going to say it how I'm going to say it, and that's going to be that. But I also think I'm very feminine, and I think I okay. can, you know, submissive. Okay, so do you think your standards may be a little too high as far as looking for a man? So, like, okay, say the quality of what these men are out here. I mean, obviously, you see on the platform today, um, not trying to hit out. I don't know nobody like that, but um, just as far as okay, they have intelligence and you know they had everything you wanted, but a couple of things not everything you wanted, but just a couple of things that were missing, right? Would you be okay with that? 
Yeah, so you know what what is what do they call it like the 80-20 rule thing? So I, I understand a person isn't gonna have every single thing that I want, and that's fine, but you need to have the major things. Um that's very that's goals need to be similar. Um the way we think about life. I like I said, I don't necessarily want children, but let's say there was a child to come about. We need to kind of be on the same page, how we want to raise a kid. Yeah. Like, you know, I agree with that. I agree with that. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 Um, so what, what is a long day for a man looks like when he comes home? Like if, you know, if you were living, you know, if you guys were living together, what, what does a long day look like for a man coming home to you? Oh, that's actually a good question. Um, I'm, I'm big on, you know, house being clean. I'm big on the s smells. So when you walk in, the house is going to be nice. It's going to smell good. Okay, I, okay. I don't, I wouldn't say I'm going to cook every single day, but mm -hmm. you know, I grew up in a house. My mom cooked like three to four times a week. So to me, that's normal. Mm -hmm. Um, you're going to have a home cooked meal. I like to sit up and watch movies and, you know, have a good wine. Yeah. You, yeah. if you want to talk to me about your day, we can talk about your day, you know. Okay. Probably be both of us talking about because, like I say, I work a lot too, so it'll probably be both of us kind of bouncing that stuff you know, off of each other. Um, and just I'm big on, I'm big on vibes. I really do believe um, your house is kind of the only place that you go you can go to like seek refuge yeah. Yeah. from the correct. world. Yeah, correct. Uh, Definitely. I, I agree with that. Also, yeah, like, I agree with that. I agree with that. Um, okay, I mean, you answered a lot of my questions. I mean, is there anything that you wanted to ask about me? Uh, you said you were in, how old are you? I'm 36. Okay, you seem a lot older. You seem really good. It. Well, I had to grow up a, uh, a little bit quick. Um, my mother's 79, uh, she's from the islands, so basically, I've had to bear a lot of her i hate to say bear but you know i had to take care of her a lot you know uh she just lost her i'd say jess but she she lost her husband uh about seven years ago and um it's kind of it's kind of where i had to step in and um try to you know take those those roles you know um she she i'm not, she's really handicapped by herself so i just gotta kind of be there for her um you know we're my family's from haiti uh, and you may be able to tell by, by the last name there, but um, so a lot of things I had to go adapt and understand the world on my own, you know. Uh, so I had to kind of grow up a little fast. Okay, go, go ahead, Melly. Okay, Dorby, I got a question for you because uh, me and you got some crazy me. questions though, Melly. So just no, keep it, it's, it's not a life. crazy, it's not a crazy <laughs> <Keep one. life. laughs> me and Jesse talked about it already so. Um, if you guys hit it off and you start dating and then you guys move in together, who is paying the rent or the mortgage? I mean, I think it's, it is the man's duty to to, to go about the, uh, paying the rent in the house, you know, I, and I agree with her in, some, in most of the sense, you know, um, with sales, it's up and down. You know, I have I have I have four businesses working on a fifth one now um, that are, you know, gay, gay, you know, being they're in the works of being, you know, like something um so i do toro i have airbnb um uh as well as taxes credit repair and, and i'm starting a new a new new line of business i really just kind of don't want to talk about it so much because i'm i'm still learning it um but i'm not to the hundred thousand figure yet but you know that's uh definitely that's insight goal that's something that's I'm, I'm around the 70 80s but um at the end of the day i think it's about how you invest it, keep your debt slow, you know, then good credit, you know, have that. Uh, I was in car sales for over 10 years. So I, it's, it's, it's a, it's an up and down thing. You know what I mean? So um, those, but those goals are in the, you know, in the process as far as, but I think sometimes it, it could take a little longer for certain people, you know, not everybody can get it at 38, 36, 32, 30, you know what I mean? And especially what I had to deal with is kind of things have kind of, I hate to say like backtrack me. So um from doing things that I want to do like full time. Okay. So but I definitely think the man should take the full responsibility of uh, you know, taking care of the family. Yeah. Okay. Are you um are you on Instagram? Like Melly, Melly, I don't know how you like 
Yes, I do have two pages and two Instagram. I saw you on Instagram earlier. I, I, I actually did like your page because you, you, you're pretty well dressed. You're not like showing all your body and all that stuff. Um, I'm a I'm a God fearing man as well. Grew up in that kind of ho- that household, so um, I like my women to be presentable. When um, uh, you know something like you'd be like, wow, she's beautiful. I would want to you know see how she is as a person instead of like, damn, that's a nice ass or something like that. You know, it's like I, she get that too, though. I yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's that? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're beautiful. You're a beautiful uh, young woman. You know, it's um. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, just definitely reach out to me, like on Instagram. Yeah, just look out. Um, I have two pages. My my one page is my business account. I'll probably hit you out for that one. Okay, sounds okay. good. All, All right. right. God Thank bless. you, Bobby. Yeah. Bye. Bye. So, it was nice. Yes, it was nice. I keep saying, if you conversation is important, if you can talk, if you can articulate them, mm-hmm. that's really good. Okay, so the, the the room is full. So we got 12 people for you. So Okay. I don't know if you got all the time, but we're gonna we're gonna try. Then whenever you're ready to shut okay. it. Good. All right, I got Yannick. Hi Yannick. Hi Mary, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Hi, um Jazzy, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing good, doing good. I came in a bit later, but a couple of things that I heard were very interesting. So I have three questions for you, and then you can ask me whatever question you want. Wait, Yanni, can you take the help, uh, the AirPod out? Because I think it's creating some static noise or whatever. Can you or no? Yes? Oh, you can hear me? Yeah, it's still kind of bad. I'm going to come back. I'll come okay, back. come back. All right. Do you find him attractive? Uh, no, he was, I mean, not, you're saying physically attractive? No. Yes. No. no? Okay. All right, I have two men. No? Pineapple. He, I don't even know what they have going on in the background. I don't know. Two guys. <laughs> Cash money. Yes. Where you at? No? Okay. Y'all got a comment. Hi, Robin. Oh, you got serious? <laughs> yeah. No? Okay. Robin didn't want to come. Ruben, you want to talk? Ruben. <laughs> Your mic is off. No? Pineapple melon. Yes. Keep moving. Sir. <laughs> Never mind. Um, I don't know. Oh, what cash money is ready. Cash money, you ready now? Cash money, this is not where you come and watch the show. I'm getting upset. <laughs> That's not the link. This link is if you want to. What you said? Nothing? All right. Somebody say he's locked up in the basement. <laughs> um, yes, these people come back and then it's the same people. So I don't know. Oh, Robin is locked up in the basement. Uh-oh. Talk to the baby. Um, Go ahead. Hey, how you doing, Jasmine? <laughs> you Mel- oh, I don't know. Oh, what no, what what does he have? I, hey, his no. friends his friends are there to cheer him up I and be like, they, yes, do it. I think they just want to be on your show. That's it, maybe. Maybe, yeah. I think that's it. Uh, I think that's it. I don't know if what's his name was coming back, but you say you don't really find him attractive, so. I guess we're good. Uh, we're good then. That's <laughs> it. Wait, there's more people coming. I, every time I say we're leaving. Okay. Maybe. Honest E, hello. Hey, what's up, Melly? How you doing, Jasmine? Hi, how are you? I'm okay. Um, I got a few questions for you before I, I call it a night. 
Um, what excites you? What excites me? Um, that's a it's so broad. That's a broad question. Uh, what excites me? Uh, I'm excited. What do you like to? What do you like to? Let me let me make it more specific. What do you like to do for fun? Uh, for fun, I like to travel. Um, I like to I like like nice dinners, going out, mm -hmm. nice ambiance. Okay. Um, what do I do for fun? I mean, I do like I like to read. Um, I like to watch TV. Just I mean, kind of the to me the normal things. Well, let's, let's get into that. I'm an avid reader myself, so like, what's some of the books that I, I think I heard you earlier because I was in and out that you like self care books. Like, what's one of your uh, most like go to books so, that you read? Um, uh, one that I have read. Well, I'm not even finished reading this book, but it's called Grit, G R I T, and it's about. Uh, it's basically about. It doesn't really matter how smart you are and. Mm. The intelligence is important, but it doesn't matter how smart you are. And, you know, if you were a trust fund baby, you came from this, you came from that. The people that are successful are people that are gritty, are people mm. persevere, people that keep going. So the book has different studies that is done on people that are considered gritty people and how they surpass people who should have been people that you would think would have done better than them because they were smarter. They went to Harvard or they did this or they did that. Mm -hmm. About the power of grit. Um, that's one self-help that I like. I mentioned I'm reading one about manifestation, but I cannot think of the name of it. I can't think of the author, um, but those types of books. Okay, well, can I give you a compliment besides your beauty that, I, that I've seen that stand out? I like that you're very black and white. Uh, I love direct. You know, you could give it to me in a roar and you'll get that in return. Where you from? New York. That's why you like that's why you like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I find myself telling it how it is. And so, you know, that can either work against me or or be a, be an aid, but you know, I'm I'm called to to stand on truth. Yeah. And that's that's the next question we can really get into if you like, but that's my foundation, you know, is is God. You know, specifically, you know, Christ and, and whatnot, and so I would love to share that with a partner that I that I have. But you know, that that tends to be a problem as well because everybody believes differently. Mm -hmm. You know, and I don't knock other people's beliefs, but that's what I stand on, and that's who I stand for. So, you know, to see that play out in the relationship hasn't always been the best for me. Okay. Okay. How old are you? I'm 31 years of of age. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I stand on principle, even though I'm young. But yeah, I didn't allow that to define me meeting you, so that's why I got on. Okay, all right. Well, I'm going to. You're cool, but I'm gonna say pineapple. There's nothing wrong with him, really. Like, I, but it just wasn't there for me. Mm -hmm. But. It was fun. It, I did like the fact that he said, I like the fact that you straightforward. And like I said, where are you from? I'm from New York. Yeah. Uh, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> I feel okay. like New York are like. Yeah, I like guys from New York too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do, I think we got three more maybe. Oh. Uh, thank you. Hello. 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 How are you doing? Hi. That's good. good. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Oil and gas, really want to oil that ass while you're cooking in the kitchen. Boiling crabs. Hot apple, hot apple. What's going on? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know. In the chat, some people are asking, uh, does Jazzy have a, a big booty? I'm like, yes, go look. Go to the Instagram and follow. <laughs> Listen. Go follow. Yes. <laughs> yes. Jasmine is very fit. I don't, yeah, whatever. It's there. I saw it's it. <laughs> Go check it. It's there. Let me see. Listen, there are plenty of videos on there. There are pictures. Go check it out. Go check it out. JC, what's up? Yo, how are y'all? Hi. Hi. 
Hey, I was enjoying the show, man. Melly, you're doing a great job. Jazzy, nice to meet you. Thank um, you. But yeah, I just came on here enjoying the show. I had a question though. Um, how important is like your friends and family's opinion of your guy you're interested in or dating? So let's say you meet a guy, you hit it off, everything is great, but maybe your family member, or your sister, one of your girls, just not feeling them. You know, you put them in the group chat or whatever, you tell them something and they just not having it. Like, how is that important? How, how is that for you? It really, it honestly doesn't matter. And the thing with me and, excuse me, with me and my friends, we're like, who you like is who you like. You know, if that's what makes you happy, that's what makes you happy. Even with my family, it it doesn't matter, you know. I didn't, I mean, I can look at my mom and my dad. I didn't get to choose her, her, her man, like my daddy. I didn't get to choose him. She chose who she wanted, you know. And it didn't matter what her family thought and other people thought. So, yeah, that doesn't matter to me. That's dope. That's dope. I, I just, I, I've been in relationships sometimes where like outside opinions can kind of sway that person's, you know, perception or in, interest in you. So, I was just curious about that, man. Um, but yeah, you're 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 uh, constant. JC, I'm sorry. What did they say about you? I mean, I don't know. I I think sometimes people can be like, oh, he might be shy, or he might be quiet, he may be this and that, or may not be as engaging. But that can be someone's personality, you know. But it doesn't reflect that, you know, someone's interest in that person. So. Oh, that's not bad. It's I not, but you, but you, <laughs> but you be shy. I mean, it's not that bad. Like. Yeah. yeah. You. You'd be surprised. Yeah. People have to stand on on their own two feet and do what they want to do. So, yeah, that doesn't bother me. How old are you? Uh, 32. 32. Where, what, uh, where, like, where do you live? Houston. <coughs> oh, you're in, you say Houston? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. okay. What side of town are you? North side, north side, like uh, Cypress area. Ah, uh, you know, Houston. Houston spread out. It is, it is, man. That's why I tell everybody, man. If you move to Houston, you gotta have a car. It ain't like everywhere, like New York or something where you can just yeah. walk or take a bus. You gotta have a car. If you ain't got a car, you ain't got legs. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jazzy, how far is that from you? I don't know what side of the north side he's on, but it's probably at least thirty minutes. Oh, that's okay. Gallery. <laughs> so. Oh yeah. yeah, I know the gallery area. Oh man, I try to avoid that area, man, because. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, that thing is popping, man. Like, everybody's out there at Joey, Uptown, and b and all that shit. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. You have kids? No kids, no. You uh, you don't have kids, no? Uh-uh, no. But you don't want kids, right? Uh, No, I don't have to have children. Is that a, like, <laughs> is that for sure, or is that, like, maybe flexible? What see, 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 I'm man. I'm curious. <laughs> I'm just curious. <laughs> wants kids uh that's a it's a it's a i don't i don't know i don't but like i always say i don't have to have kids like if i didn't have kids i'm not gonna be upset about it well, it was somebody that they wanted kids and then i'm like okay this i really think this person would be a good father like you know this this will work then i wouldn't have a problem with it so it's you, you meet the right guy somebody in the comments said <laughs> <laughs> what? She's gonna, she's gonna change her mind quick. Oh, change her mind. Oh, but yeah, um, yeah, that's where I stand on kids. That's cool. No problem. So, JC, you want kids for sure? I want at least one, man. I feel like if I didn't, oof, I'd be, I'd be a little hurt down the line. But you know, that those things can be worked out though. Are you ready for kids now? Right now? Yes. I'm as ready as I ever be. I'll say that. You know, I feel like you can't really plan for it. If it happens back then, I wasn't. Maybe five years ago, I'd say, nah. But right now, I'm 32. I make decent money. And I feel like I'm stable. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going anywhere, I don't think. So um, I think now's the time. Or next three, four, five years. Okay. Hmm. All right. I'm asking if it's now because um, Jazzy feels like she's already up there for kids. So it's like, <laughs> it, it got to be tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> if I mean, it's gonna happen. If it happens, great. If it doesn't, then damn. But how, how important is marriage to you? Are you someone who, if you never got married, you'd be crushed or no big deal? 
Um, I don't know if I would say I would be crushed, but I definitely want to be married. I do not not want to be married. I want to be married. What's your timeline? Uh, ooh, I don't know if I have a timeline, but sooner rather than later. I, to be honest, I probably would have thought I would have been married all by okay. now. <laughs> yeah, I would have. Yeah. Oh, so sooner rather than than later. Yeah. I feel like that's the case in, in like the, in, when you're dating in your thirties. You meet people, or, you know, women. Don't get don't don't take offense, but women sometimes they feel like I like you, you like me. This works. Put a ring on. <laughs> I mean, yeah, and then so somebody like me that's a little bit older, you are dating more so for the end goal. You you really not gonna be playing around. And that's the thing, like. At my age, like I'm ready to do that. I'm ready like to date, or I am dating for purpose, but I'm ready to get married. I feel like the streets is, oh, like it looks good on Instagram, but it's not what that is. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, I feel like sit, you know, settling down, having a family is is, is the way to go. Okay, yeah. I see you sound interesting, so you gotta, you know, hit me up gotcha. and um, continue the conversation. <laughs> we'll do, we'll do. I'll, um, I do have Instagram. I'm not on it often, but um. I hit you up. Okay. Sounds good. Awesome. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, JC. You too. Have a good night. Good night. Yes? Yeah, he was nice. Okay. And he's in Houston. You better but see, everybody you keep calling on here. I, it's a lot of people on here from Houston. Hey, see? So you don't have to go too far. 30 minute drive. <laughs> that, that's good. Okay. Yes. Uh, let's see. We do two more. I have Hot Boy. Hi, Hot Boy. Hey, uh, I got some questions for you. Uh, before you uh, probably pineapple me because my tattoo is on my face. So, uh, <laughs> I just got four. Is that straight? We'll see if we get to four. Yeah, let's see. All right, man. So, uh, I wasn't on here. Like, I literally just got on like five minutes ago. So, I really ain't here a lot but my first question is what is your dream destination to travel to uh, mm-hmm. <sighs> I, I want to go I guess I would say I want to go to the Maltese okay okay all right so are you a do you like live and die by your social media platforms like is that like if let's just say your Twitter or Instagram got deleted one day, would that affect you more than it should? I don't, I don't know what more than it should be. It means- like, uh, because it would be traumatic for uh, I'm pretty sure everybody if they got like a bunch of followers and stuff. But like, would it be detrimental to your mental mental health? So I run a bit mm-hmm. <laughs> on social media. Um, going on. Uh, so yeah, like my social media, yeah, that would be like that'd be a big thing for me. Okay, I, would, I wouldn't die, but yeah, I'd, <laughs> I'd be dead. I'd be trying to get it back. <laughs> Eight, right. Yeah. So. All right, this is, this is another question. So let's just say I have a mansion, all right. Would you be, if I had you over a lot, would you be more trying to move in? You know, fuck, fuck the small though. Would you be trying to move in? Wow. So I'm not asking you, but I'm saying like hypothetically. Because you have a man. You said, do I have a maid? No, 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 no. You're asking me if I would be mm-hmm. and because you have, right? Uh-huh. And I'm basically, no, the, the answer. But no, I'm saying like, if we was in a relationship, would you be more like on the, oh, on the move side or would you want to basically continue like dating and we be in separate places, but we just like chill most of the time, uh, either at my, 
if so it is hypothetical so i'm not asking you like yeah come on to my crib let's do yeah so would you be <laughs> i don't i don't know what was the question it's like would you move in if you're dating like i i feel like what he was trying to say is because i have a mansion are you gonna be trying to move in with me <laughs> and i'm like what to, no like <clears throat> <laughs> Somebody said the jail. <laughs> Some people say he's in jail. <laughs> so are you gonna try to move in? <laughs> jail? <laughs> Is she gonna be trying to move in the jail with you? <laughs> no, no. no. I'm sure. no. All right, wait. It, it's more people. <laughs> Somebody said that's exactly what he's saying. Hello, Mister. I can say that youth. Thank you. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good, thank you. Jazzy. Hi. Hi, how are you tonight? I'm good. I'm good. Nice. I've been following along from the starting. I must say you're a very interesting woman. Thank you. Do you have any questions for me? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not for you? Uh -uh. Not the way he started that off, no. Okay, I have persistent. Who is that? Persistent, yeah. is, persistent is what I am, man. Because I'm gonna go for what I want, and I'm gonna get what I want, man. What's going on? I'm back. Pineapple. <laughs> it's a no, sir. <laughs> okay, last one. Tristan, you're here. Tristan. No. Never mind. Well, that, that's it, I think. I think we, we, we got everybody. Ooh. Yes. How, how was it for you? <laughs> it was interesting, to say the least. That was okay. Do you think we, we found a few? Uh, there, were, there were a few guys that, you know, I would at least continue to have a conversation with so but mm -hmm. I, I don't know we'll see okay okay so um <laughs> would you like to say anything else i know you you say you have a, a clothing brand what is it again so the clothing brand the instagram for my store is at shop s-h-o-p zoe z-o-e mar m-a-r my um Instagram is at Jazzyest, J-A-Z-Z-Y-I-E-S-T. Mm -hmm. So I post, I pretty much post on my Instagram, the clothes and everything and the jewelry. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, Zoe Mar is my little baby. So definitely follow me and you'll see all the stuff from Zoe Mar. Um, and the store's uh, website is Zoe, Z-O-E-M-A-R.com. So yeah, just, you know, follow me, hit me up. If you were even too shy to say something in the little thing, hit me up at Jazzy's. For sure. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I hope uh, I'm rooting for, what's his name? <laughs> JC. Which I'm rooting for JC. Oh, kind of. Last guy that came on, one of the, one of the last ones. Yes, who yeah. said that maybe the girl sometimes uh, they were saying he might be shy or something. Yeah, yeah, he seemed nice. He really did seem nice. So yes, and he's in Houston, so I'm like, yeah. we'll see. Yes, we'll see. All right, well, you keep me posted if anything happens. If you meet any of them, you know, you I'm I'm nosy, so uh, <laughs> you I, keep me posted. Oh, if you made a love match or something, I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> Awesome. I've met a, uh, like three so far. So, hey. I, oh, really? Yeah. So, if he can be number four, hey, you okay. let me know. I'll let you know. Awesome. Thanks for having me on, Nelly. It was fun. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. I had a good time too. And I think the chat did have a good time. I mean, the chat always have a good time. They don't care. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're out of control. So, well, I appreciate you for your time. I appreciate you for coming. And, uh, and we'll talk soon then. All right. Bye, guys. Uh, bye. Bye-bye. All right, guys. That was Jazzy, Jasmine. So if you guys want to go check her out, this is her IG. You can uh, do what you need to do if you didn't get a chance to talk to her. This is the IG. 
So guys, I got beef with you because you guys don't support me. One more time, you see, I saw, I read some comments and you guys were like, oh, why, why you need us to support you? You support the people that you don't, that don't even know you. I know you. You guys don't support me. So today I didn't really ask. I was like, let me see what they're saying. And today nobody is giving. So I'm upset. So if you want to donate, guys, and you know me, I'm telling you, a dollar per person. It's still 1,500 people on here right now. And um, that's the cash app if you guys want to help out. A dollar per person, please. And thank you. We got to pay uh, Delight. We got to pay McDonald's. <laughs> we, we still got to pay McDonald's. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm letting you know, YouTube is fucking up for a lot of creators right now. And, uh, and you know me, I never ask because I don't like to ask. I want you to give just because you fuck with me. And um, you guys have me feeling bad because I told you the other day, I went on other people's channel and the, the amount that people are helping, I'm like, they do that? And he don't even say nothing. I'm talking about MTR people. He don't say nothing and people just sending, yeah, here for you, here for you, here's for your kids. But you guys don't be fucking with me like that. I see. I see. Uh, what else? Somebody, so you cannot post just one dollar on the thing. <laughs> he put in the chat one dollar. He's like, here. <laughs> you guys funny. Melly pocket watching. Yes, I have to at some point because you guys like a dollar wouldn't do anything to you. So and you see the, the work I'm putting. I was telling you, you guys, I was going to kind of stop the show because I was like, yo, it's a lot of time. And, you know, but hey, you, you guys don't care. It, it's OK. I'm not threatening anyone. But if at some point you, you wake up and there is no show, you know what happened? I had to go get a regular job. That, that's what happened. Daquan say he got us. He'll pay you. <laughs> Jermaine, shut up. Uh, <laughs> Daquan didn't say that. Daquan already sending me gift. By the way, I still didn't get Daquan's gift. I know some people ask me. Uh, I haven't received it. Uh, you get PayPal, Melly? Yes, I do. It's uh, it's my regular email, the Melly Monaco one. That's the, the PayPal. Um, thank you, Radio Rahim. Thank you. Uh, pure poor men. Some, you cater to many. Oh, wow. I never said I'm catering to poor men. I don't think my people are poor people. I think they just don't. I, I got to educate my people, maybe. You know, I used to date this guy when uh, we would go on dates. He wouldn't tip the waiter. And I was like, what are you doing? And he was like, what do you mean? He just didn't know. And now he's the biggest tipper ever. So I believe sometimes we got to educate our people. If I want something, I need to ask for it. I don't like to ask, but hey, if that's what I need to do, I'm going to do it. Uh, Daquan is in StreamYard. Oh, yeah, I see Daquan. Daquan is here. Aviana. Aviana didn't want to give me a dollar. She decided, she or he, I don't know, uh, 99. Well, I, I thank you. I will take that. Guys, what is this 99? I'll take it. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Uh, well, or maybe it's the, the thing that takes the thing. I, it didn't make any sense right now. Melly, come work. Who said Melly, come work? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Melly, the donors about to dispute the charges. You better not. If you send me something, I don't want to hear no fucking dispute. Um, who else is talking? Let me see. Well, thank you for whoever is participating. Thank you, Hemp Nation. I appreciate you. Uh, Daquan paid the bills. <laughs> Stop. Move the decimal point two digit to the right and pretend it's 499, 400. And no, it is not that. If it was that, if one person give me 500 every show, I'm not asking nobody else. 500 a show, I'll take that. This least $2. Melly, marry me. For $1.99, maybe I'll do that. Big brawl. Uh, big bra I'm sorry, I can I can read. Big draws. Thank you, super sticker, $20. Uh, what else? Uh, can I please be a mod? Uh, yeah, I mean, do I know you? Asan, I, I, I don't see you all the time, Asan. I don't know. Do you come to every show? Because, you know, you got to be here all the time. Where is Jose? I haven't, uh, I saw Jose today, but has he been talking? 
also be um don't be talking much sometimes i think who is asan yeah asan they're looking for you i'm like do we know asan first mainly trolling now she's scamming us when was i trolling that's one and how am i scamming i'm telling you you need to participate you need to support me a little bit all those videos i put out for free you need to participate the ta the um, not the talent show the um, the pineapple show, you know, it's a lot of work. Maybe you guys don't understand. I got to talk to all these lovely ladies and see their schedule, see if they can come. Then the day of or even days before, make sure, hey, are you still coming? It's it's a freaking job. And then I got to be here. I got to be here. Or maybe you guys want a different host. Because, you know, some people ask me to host for me. Would you enjoy having a different host? Who said, Melly, you knew that girl? No, I didn't. I don't know her. I found I found Jazzy on Instagram. I saw the pictures. I was like, "Yep, she she's a, a good one for you guys. I think you guys would like uh, like her." Melly, you knew that girl was unrealistic. How? I, I don't know if she's unrealistic. Actually, she she wants what she wants. I don't know where do you guys find a problem. Um, what else? Uh, no, we don't. What do you mean? No, we don't. I don't know what you're referring to um what else yes you can bring some different some so you want somebody say yes you can bring somebody different uh yes you can bring some different eye candy so you want a different host you don't want me that's fine i'll find you a different host maybe hey maybe that will work for you better here you go super chat Ho really <laughs> you're calling me a hoe you have no respect no respect uh, Tyler is asking, how can I send money? Tyler, there is a cash app or you can do a super chat. It's whatever you want. I watch both of your shows and the car show. Okay, Asan, well, I fuck with you. Thank you, Asan. Asan, send me a, an email and we'll talk about having you being a moderator. Here, $25. Let me know if you get it. Send you long. Oh, wow. Long face as a bitch. <laughs> You guys just love talking shit to me. Long face as bitch. Well, thank you. What's your name, sir? Uh, I lost your name. Oh, well. You didn't, you do not matter. Thank you for the money. Oh, no, it was fake money. I, I'm saying thank you. It was fake money. Luke Brown is showing off. Love the show tonight. Your guest seems cool. Hope she found her future husband. Maybe keep up the awesome work you do. Uh, never change who you are. You're perfect the way you are. Well, thank you, Luke. Uh, you are. Uh, I wish the guys would come more correct, more better. Hey, we, we get what we get. If the guy want to show out and show up sometimes, you know, we're, we're trying. Keep the show going, Melly. Hi, Christopher. Well, thank you. I am trying, but if at some point, you know, it makes no sense. Uh, for me to keep on entertaining for free, we will have to stop the show. I know some of you don't care. I, I hear. Wait, Jose gave me some money. Where is it? I can't see it no more. Jose, we, we lost your money, but I see you. Uh, supporter from day one. Thank you, David. I lost uh, Jose's money. But Jose... Uh, uh, gave gave me five dollars and he said what he said oh i lost it w stream win stream maybe well thank you jose i appreciate you um all right so that's all we have for tonight guys uh wait daquan is here chips is here hot boy is here drew fasa is here we have a bunch of performers <laughs> who are here <laughs> A lot of performers, so I think we're, we're going to let everybody perform. Wait, guys, I need to use the restroom, so you, you give me one second. Okay, I'm going to put Chibs on. Chibs is going to give a word of affirmation, and then he's going to perform for us. So here is Chibs while I go to the restroom. Hi, Chibs. So you can do your Hi. word of affirmation for us, and by the time you're done, I'll probably be back with um, uh, for the song, okay? Yeah, for the song, okay. Okay, good evening chat guys. Um so um I I know of a woman. Um I want to say don't go through life carrying a heavily contaminated heart. 
Remember, you can't do anything about the past, but you can do something about right now. I heard about a woman called Tessie. She has 30% worry, stressed out over her job, 25% bitterness, mad at her neighbors, 15% guilt, beating herself up for past mistake, 5% jealousy, her co-worker is more beautiful than she is. Then you realize that 70% of her heart is already contaminated with a lot of negatives, leaving no space for the good things deserving of her life. Now look guys, you got you stress about your job, go get a new one, as no condition is permanent. You mad at your neighbor, go reconcile with your neighbor, because life is too short to late about carrying grudges. Beating yourself up for past mistakes, do better next time. Remember, failure is not the end, it's an opportunity to begin from start, this time more intelligently. Your coworker is more beautiful than you are. <laughs> Well, exercise to get in shape or probably add some more makeup. Because you know what? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. What looks good to you might look not so good to the other person. So guys, what I want to let you know is that a basket full of good oranges can only be contaminated with one bad orange. So guys, empty them out. Empty them out. Empty them out. The stress the worries, the bitterness, the jealousy, the guilt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I heard all of it. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, so what is the you song? Want, you, you want a song? Okay. 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 I got a song. That's missing you. Mel, this is for you. Missing you. Okay. Case. It's case. You're my not so long, you got my days ago when I don't have you. How can I be so damn demanding? I know you said that it's over now, but I can't let go. Every day I want to pick up the phone and tell you that you're everything I need in the world. If only I could find you like a cold summer afternoon, like a snow coming down on John, like a wedding without a groom. I'm missing you. I'm the dancer without a sand. You're the woman without a man. I'm the rain without a hand. I'm missing you. Driving <laughs> out to the side, that's me. My rabbit mirrors play tricks on me cause you fade away. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. Cause my loneliness get the best of me. I'm my heart so weird. And every day I wanna pick up the phone. I tell you that you're everything that even more. If only I could find you. Go summer afternoon, like a snow coming down on June, like a wedding without a girl. I'm missing you. Belly, I gotta give others a chance to perform. I'm sorry, I'm taking most of the time. Others have to perform. Old boy, Drufasa, everybody. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I think I tried. Am I right? I tried. I tried. So you tried. So, well, yeah. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Take care. Take care. All right, guys, that was Chibs. Chibs for the win. Uh, who is Donald Poe talking about? Yo, sis, ain't nobody paying that old chick bills when they can go get a young body and live it up, kids and all that. Well, 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 that's your preference, I guess. Uh, D.B. Smith, uh, Melly, I'm probably one of your senior watchers. Okay, well, thank you. I like your ideas for a new show. Whatever you do will be great. Well, I appreciate you. Thank you. Yes, uh, I, I forgot if you guys didn't watch the show on Monday. I talked about a new idea that would probably replace the, the talent show. We might have a talent show tomorrow, actually. Um, I am working, I'll tell you who I'm trying to have, might be confirmed by tomorrow. I'll put it on Instagram if we go with that, uh, with that option, if we do have a show. I'm uh, talking to uh, Roscoe, uh, Roscoe Dash. So if I can get him, we will have a show. If I cannot get him, 
we won't have a show. So, uh, so that's that. And yes, so if you missed the show on Monday, I was talking about a new idea that will replace the, the talent show. And it would be uh, kind of like a hotline. You know, you call in, it would be a phone number where you can call in and talk about your issues. If you have an issue, if you need a piece of advice, if you want to vent, I don't know, whatever you need that's relationship oriented. I'm not trying to hear about your job, what's happening at your job. No, we're talking about what's happening in your relationship, in your dating life or whatever. Meli, you accept EBT. No, I don't. Sorry. Um, but uh, yes, so that would be the show. So it would be a, a phone number and you guys could call in so you wouldn't have to show your face or anything. Or you could still come on with the regular way that we do. I would still have the link for, the, for StreamYard where you can come on and talk face to face, you know. So, so that would be... That would be something cool. Oh, look at who is blessing us. Kenneth Richardson. Thank you for the super sticker. All right, baby, stop. She hears the ambulance. All right, let's see. Uh, who said, wait, somebody said I'll drop 100 if what? I don't know. I can read. I, I, I missed it. All right, let's see. Um, we're going to, Jufasa hopefully has a monologue for us. Let's see. Jufasa? Yeah, man, you're trying to make me do monologues. I'm about course, to ask you. What you going to do? You have something else? No, I'm about to ask you a question, but I probably, I do some, and then I ask you after. Okay. Well, let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, all right, listen, man. I got a problem with everybody at this table right here. Now, let me just say this. You know that you don't pay a hold of fuck you, right? You pay her to leave. I ask for out-of-town shooters. What do out-of-town shooters do? They get back out of town. Somebody here hire in-town shooters. You know what I get for that shit? I get in-town trouble, in-town police. Now, you know, we can't have that shit. Y'all going, hey, yo, is you, you eating while I'm talking? Wait, so you, you hungry? No, you must be hungry, right? Don't apologize. I tell you what, come here, give me that plate. You want to eat? Eat, dog, eat. Man, get the fuck up on my seat, man. Get on your knees and eat. All right, anybody at this table, man, anybody else want to eat their food while I'm talking? All right, now let me finish. That was it, man. That was it. That was, um, I don't know if people know what that is, man. That's that, um... It's a movie called Four Brothers. Okay, like, I know that movie. Yeah, he was a mob boss. Was, I was, I was, you can look it up. It's called The Restaurant Scene. Okay, anyway. great. Well, thank you. Yeah, but Millie, man, man why you let me get my round two in, man? You know, I was trying to come back for that woman. Hey, she came. I uh, No, you came back. I put you on. She saw you. She said, pineapple. Man, don't listen to the pineapple. Man. What you mean, anyway. That's the purpose of the show. Yeah, yeah, I know. But listen, hey, can you, can you check your DMs? Because I, I have two girls for you. I'm like, man, Millie don't never check her damn DMs. So I'm trying, how can I, well, I got to email you or something or what? Yeah, DMs is too hard. It's it's too many. I can't I can't check the DMs. So I got two perfect. I got two perfect girls for you on IG. They don't got no crazy followers. They probably got like good 8,000 followers and shit like that. I and, huh? I like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they doing stuff on themselves. One of them is on. Um, own a salon. The other one, dude, she a chef and shit. I'm like, yo, these girls is bad. I've been following for a minute. I'm like, man, I need Millie to get in contact with these two chicks right here. So you prefer me to email you? Yes, email me with the um, their IG. So then IG, I can yeah. go and check them out and then uh, DM them. All right, cool, 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 cool. Well, come to Atlanta, man, so we're going to date real quick. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. You, say you, be in it, you say you be in and out anyway. You know what I'm saying? I'll be in and out, but it's, um, you know, it's just tough. It's it's like a lot to do when I go to Atlanta. So, yeah. 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 Well, if I ever catch you, man, we can have a little outing or a little, you know, eat a little something and then mm -hmm. be, and go, you know, go buy our business and shit. Okay. Sounds good. But anyway, I will hit you up in that email with them two chicks. All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. 
Oops. Wait, I'm sorry. I'm coming. Yeah, I'm coming. Yeah. No, that's not what I meant to say. Pause. But um, no, uh, Drufasa is intense. It's like, yeah, with them two chicks. And like, <laughs> uh, let me see. Who says she's going to MTR? No, I'm not, sir. I mean, when I'm in Atlanta, I'll probably do another live with him. That's for sure. Melly's coming. You guys stop. Uh, she only responds to Daquan DMs. Well, let's see. I need to see Daquan because he said he had a song last week. Hi, Daquan. Okay, so first off, before I start the song, I just retracted your package. You said it's there. It got there at eleven seventeen a.m. So it should be there. I have. I can show you. I have the. I have the picture. I I screenshotted it. I I believe you. I mean, I I guess it's at my PO box. So I got it. Yeah, it's at your PO box. Is there? Okay, I'm gonna go check tomorrow. Tomorrow I got time. I'm gonna go. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna get right straight into the song words. Okay. Yes, let's go. Okay, please be there. Please be. Oh, I gotta make sure it's connected. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, yeah, connected. Okay. All right, I'm about to start it. Yes. Well, th thank you, Daquan. Woo! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got one more thing to talk about. I'm gonna make this quick. Wait, if wait, we're really let me say thank you, Steel Star Life, the best show. Well, thank you, sir. I appreciate you. Go ahead, Daquan. What did you want to say? So I've been I've been really thinking about this. I know you say you want me to subscribe to your Patreon, but if we're gonna have a real connection, actually get to know each other on a real deep personal level, I don't honestly feel like I should I don't sh I shouldn't have to pay to, in order to talk to you. I think it should be like a natural thing. And I'm really like really like really want to take it to Instagram because we both follow each other on Instagram, and I really want to keep it there. Like. Like I, I'm not saying that I want I want support you because I do, but I don't think I should be able to pay in order just to talk to you. I think it should be more on a, like on a personal level, like outside of the whole Patreon and stuff like that. If we're really gonna like get to know each other on a personal level, and I'm not taking no for answer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that respectfully and humbly because I ain't playing no games. I'm dating with a purpose here, but like I said before, like I rather just like for us like to fill each other off, see what the energy is like, see what the vibe is like, and see how we like really correspond with each other. Like, mm -hmm. cause I really want us to come together, like, like me at a middle ground, like be equal, be balanced. Yeah. Um... Oh, and by the way, guys, I just, I just posted a, a latest video and I made a poll on my community, on my community tab on my, pay, on my, uh, on my channel. So you guys make sure you guys check that out. It's a then and now, it's a then and now challenge to see which, which see which one is your favorite, a past, Picture of me or picture of me now. Okay, but, guys, go, go check out Daquan's uh, YouTube channel and videos. Hell yeah. Yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel on the road to 1,000 subscribers and 10 million views. I've got a ways to go. Hey. But, <laughs> but Melly, like, I really hope you take what I'm saying into consideration because I really want us to talk on a personal level on, like, IG. I, like I said, I really don't think I should... Be able, like I don't think I should pay in order to talk to you because that should be more like a legit personal meet between you and me thing. Well, I I hear everything, Daquan. Um, I understand you don't want to go to Patreon. I I totally get that if you don't don't want to do that. Uh, I'll I'll still be looking for your DMs. Yeah. Oh, and, and by and by the way, I seen a comment saying that um. That they like, where's the client? Where's the client's gift? Mel, he didn't say your gift. Like, I've been sent that, I've been sent it. Like, I literally, like, I really literally had to recheck and make sure you got it. But it says it's there, they like, got it there like last night, last night at 11 17. I don't, I don't know if you could check your PO box now if you like if it's downstairs somewhere, but I don't know. No, no, the PO box is not downstairs. Oh, my bad. It's at the, I don't it's know. At the post office. <laughs> Okay, but yeah, it's there. You, sh you sh like it's there. Well, I will go tomorrow. Do not worry. Yeah, yeah. but like I said, I wanted to come to you with a new mix, so I wanted to see how you like it. So it it took me a while to like to re like to like to change data is really special. I really am because. I know you guys are like kind of wondering, yes, I have disabilities. Yes, I'm blind in my right eye. I wasn't always blind. I, I, I suffered glaucoma in my right eye. So 
yeah, and yeah, I do have disabilities, but I don't let my disabilities define who I am. And I'm a lot smarter than what people actually give me credit for. I'm, I'm a very special, unique kind of person and very genuine, very loving, very caring and honest and very like romantic life. And no. here's something. You and here's wait, so you don't see out of your right eye? No. The li my left eye helps out the right eye in which in in the areas of, in the areas of the right eye like so it helps me like like it helps me out like I'm not like I'm permanently blind in the right eye but like I'm like I can still see a little bit but not all the way. Wow, I didn't that know that. Sense. But I'm sorry to hear yeah. that. Yeah, it's it's okay, but and you know another thing I noticed you like. I also like seeing comments, but between you and me, and when people are talking about you and me, that me and you are really, really goofy. Like, like we are goofy as hell. Like, I can, and I think that really works well because, we, like, like that previous comment said um, last week. I don't know who said it. It said, "I, me and you both said that me." It said, "Millie and Melly and Daquan are a beautiful couple," and I think we really like really mesh well, being like being two different people, but our styles coming like being one in the same. Like, it kind of like being cohesive. Okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, I love the braids. Thank you. Why is, hey, I'm sorry. Okay, you know I like dark humor, right? I'm gonna say it mm -hmm. front, okay? Yeah. Why somebody said, <laughs> I'm terrible for laughing, just so you know. Why somebody said love is blind? <laughs> Sometimes, okay, I can, okay, I can talk about that actually because um, some people, okay, the way I see why people say love is fine because, yeah, the love might be there, but you're not actually seeing what's really in front of you because you're blindsided on, what, on what's really going on around you and you're not being aware of your surroundings because it also plays into relationships too. And like I said, I talk a lot about relationships too with other people and like different, get different ideas, get different perspectives on both women, on the women's side and the men's side. But also remember seeing one of the videos you did with MTR and so it's like, when you were talking about relationships, you say men, I, you honestly think men have a lot harder than women do because men are like, are, start to, are subjected to be like the providers, the protectors and can be like, not only dominant, but also submissive. I'm not the same sexually, but but when it comes, like I watch your relationship videos, like, and you are really insightful and you speak true facts that other women are not really speaking about. And that's what I really like the most about you because you gonna keep you keep it real, you keep it blunt, but you keep it honest and also commenting on your other videos, like the others like tips and advice you give us guys like how to navigate and how to talk to them, how to approach them and what to say and what not to say and how to show, have confidence in that, like not showing that we can have, but also showing that we can have power over the women and get stuff like that, if that makes sense. And just to be honest, like I said, I'm him, not that him. I'm really that him, but never that him. <laughs> I miss that part. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Like, like I keep telling people when I talk to Melly, I let Melly know my maturity, my man, my mindset, and my action speaks louder than and shows a whole lot. It shows how lot shows a whole lot different than what my actual age is. Even though me and Melly are like what five years apart, but still point <laughs> being, I let my maturity, my mindset, and my mentality Wait, speak a whole lot. Yeah. How old am I? You're 33. I'm okay. You figured it out. Action speaks louder than words, and I'd rather prove myself to you. I'd rather prove myself to you because I walk the walk. I don't talk the talk. I'm all about action. Okay. Well, I appreciate you for coming. I, I will reach uh -huh. out to you tomorrow once I go check uh, the PO box to tell you I got it. Okay? Are you, you going uh, to hit me on IG, right? Yes. He's, wait, Melly said, Melly, said Melly, Melly, let him slide in the chair. <laughs> Wait, I gotta go back and read that comment. <laughs> yeah, comments are crazy. Yes, baby, stop. Yes, all right, Daquan, I'll, I'll uh, DM you tomorrow. All right, all right, Billy, have a good night, and I'll you see too. what you said. You said the talent show will be tomorrow? Uh, maybe if I secure the, the judge, yes. And you, you said yeah. Roscoe Dash, right? Roscoe Dash is pretty big and a pretty huge. And I do like your and I do like your idea for like creating a new show for Thursdays if the talent show is, is not gonna keep working out. 
or you know, I have I, I do like that. I do have a name for it. I do have a suggested name. Like I do I do agree with some people say like Melly's Love Line or Melly's Hotline Blink or Melly's um it was something else. I can't think right now, but mm -hmm. my, like like I like I have I have I have, I have, I have one of my own. I think Melly's like love search. Melly Melly's love search. Mel, Melly's love search. I think that would be a good I think that would be a good title title Melly's love search. I don't think so. Or Melly search for love. I'm not searching for love. It's I'm just saying no, I'm just saying, I'm not I'm, I'm just I'm just brainstorming here. So I'm just like brainstorming like Okay, we'll brainstorm another day. Yeah, all right guys. <laughs> okay. Right. Daquan is out of control. Out of control. Melly's one night stand. No, that is, that is not it. Uh let me see. <laughs> Yeah. My bad, I'm over here cleaning and whatnot. Okay. <laughs> but uh, Daquan better stuff. You already know you my one and only girl. You know I got your name tattooed on me. Why are you lying? All right, look. But if I get it though, <laughs> you can't say I'm lying. <laughs> But look, if Daquan really, really love you that much, I get both of y'all names tatted, and I say it's my grandma name. If any girl asks, <laughs> you crazy? Are you gonna sing? What you doing? Oh, of course, baby girl. You know. All right, let's hear it. Uh, Rob a nigga with no gloves, bleaching his eye. I had blood on me, and on the passenger side with his blood twenty nine. Trying to catch me a body, rob a nigga with no gloves, bleach in the shower, I have blood on me. Hanging on the passenger side with his blood 29, trying to catch what it is, what it ain't, nigga. Kick the whole fucking door to the paint with us. I just hit the par shop and took the drink with us. I just hit a lick at Kelly about the safe with us. Baby, ride with a Draco, it ain't safe with us. And everybody in the city, yeah, they hate on us. And I ain't got no fucking safety, yeah, this K gon' bust. That's why me and all my niggas keep the K's with us. Bitch! Rob a nigga with no gloves, bleach in the shower, I ain't got blood on me. And another passenger side with his block 29, trying to catch me a body. Rob a nigga with no gloves, bleach in the shower, I ain't got blood on me. And another passenger side with his block 29, trying to catch me a body. Anybody, somebody. Yeah. <laughs> you niggas pussy. I don't even want to rap no more. Indeed, you know what I mean? I just want to let everybody know I love y'all. I love Melly the most, you feel me? Go ahead, follow me on Twitter at Goon Music 414 G-O-O-N-M-U-S-I-C 414. Uh, you'll see all my viral videos. Uh, the top one that's pinned on my account is at 3.2 million views. A bunch of retweets, a bunch of favorites. Um, you can search me up on Google at Hotboy414 and you will see the first label that's uh, under there is Universal Music Group for everybody who always say, I'm capping. Uh, I am not a capster. I'm a rapster. And uh, I eat a uh, Melly Booty Apps. <laughs> I'm over him. <laughs> no, he does not do that. Do not believe. So he's a capper. Because he just lied. He just, <laughs> why are you guys saying free hard boy? He's not in jail. Hard boy is not in jail. Um, let's see. Oh, Yam is here. We got to go, but let me talk to Yam real quick. Hi, Yam. I hope you don't say it like that. You what? I hope you don't say it like that. Yam? No, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I'm, I'm, What's up? Where you at? Home? Where I'm at? Uh, it looks like the house, no? <laughs> I feel you. I, it's not like I know where you stay. I'm, I don't know if you stay in Atlanta, L.A. I don't know. I mean, my background often the same. That's, uh, I mean, L.A. Okay. I, if, I, if I was your boyfriend, uh, Day One or Darian, I would know where you stay, but I'm, I'm not there. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. What you doing in the car? We at 
And now we, I had, I had the whole Waffle House turned up for you. We was gonna have Waffle House go crazy for the man. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, I missed it. Yeah, I, I was in there with my brother and shit. I'm, that's why I'm in Atlanta. So. Oh, you're in Atlanta? Okay. Well, Alpharetta, technically. Okay. They say you're with your girl. Listen, y'all. Listen, y'all lame ass niggas. Y'all got to. Y'all got a lot of y'all girls. I don't lie to no female. I can do what I want and still get what I want. Y'all do that. Okay. <laughs> Too fast shit on me, boy. <laughs> go, go, lie to your. Go, don't play with me. Play with bitch. your bitch. <laughs> oh, oh. That, that's a song. That's just a song. <laughs> That's a song. Stop. <laughs> oh shit. I like that song though. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, stop. I don't know. My dog needs to go outside. Um, all right. Well, uh, thank you for coming. Yeah. Sorry I missed the thank you for having Waffle me. House. Yes. I, I, I want to know some real quick question. Yeah. Why do you be coming on here just on straight bullshit? <laughs> you be oh. <laughs> you last time I was on here, what was that Monday? And what I did, and and look, because you be saying you be advocating for the men and shit. Yes. Last time I was on here, what I did? Shorty didn't answer no questions. I called on the bullshit, so now I don't get to ask no questions. You say, "Oh yeah, you gotta go." What's up? Did I do that? I don't remember the conversation, to be honest. So I, what did I do? You say you ask your question, and what? I don't know. I'm just fucking with you for real. I'm done with you. Goodbye. You have a good night. You too. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Maybe tell him you guys are going too fast. What is it? Tell him to make you a yam and cheese sandwich. No. Maybe is a gangster bitch. No, I'm not. Your fools need to quit playing. I'm not a gangster. Uh, let's see. Uh, who is this? I know. I don't know. Let's see. We have another performer. Guys, Guys, gonna... Hi. Hi, Nelly. How are you this evening? Good. How are you? How are you? I'm doing all right. Does my mic sound okay? It sounds like it sounds I hear myself, myself. But, but I don't talk. Let's see here. How's that? Does that work? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. Not, um, I mean, you sound, you sound. It's just I hear myself. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I was wondering if you were interested in hearing me sing you a song. Yeah, let's yeah, go. Let's go. All right. Hmm, looks like switched off of the volume again. In one moment for it to fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars. Wait, wait, wait. What? It's too loud. It's too loud. What's that? It's too loud. It's too loud. Too loud. How about now? It's still kind of loud. Maybe put the mic down. How about, okay. How, how about this? That's better. That's better. Much better. All right. Let me, let me try this again. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's see what it's taking. All right. Here we go. Fly me to the moon, let me play among the stars, let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, hold my hand, in other words, baby kiss me. Fill my heart with song, let me sing forevermore. 
You are all I long for, all I worship and adore. In other words, please be true. In other words, I love you. All right. Well, thank you. What's your name? Drizzle Stank? My Drizzle Stank. <laughs> so I, I, I go by Drizzle Stank. I, I sing, I rap, I, uh, I do a little bit of this and that. I started playing the guitar a few months ago. Like, like right after I started playing guitar, you let me come on and sing you happy birthday. But because I used to do it in an acapella group, I sang it in the tenor tone instead. And it didn't come out very well, but it was fun for me, so I, uh, I enjoyed it. But I've gotten much better at the guitar since then. If you're, if you're interested, I'll play you for a minute, but that's, that's only if you care to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> so that, that that that's me just pushing myself on anywhere I can go. I basically any anybody who let me play or sing or do anything, I just kind of jump on and do it. I uh, I had my entire hardware shut down on me three weeks ago, and I put together a whole new setup today. It keeps turning my camera off, muting my mic, and making it the mic that doesn't exist on the camera and then switching me back over so I, I was just i'm just out and about trying to trying to see how i sound so now i'll be able to go back review and i got to be nice to melly you're always you're always so sweet to me and i've uh, i've appreciated you so uh thought i'd come and sing awesome awesome well you have a great night melly and i i hope uh hope all your travels and everything stay well thank you, thank you. yeah good night, yeah, good night, too. night too. bye oops sorry albino i'm sorry hello how you doing? I'm good. How are you? What's up? This is my first time. What is this? A dating show? Talent show? Well, it's done. It's done. I'm just saying hello real quick. But the, the show starts at uh, 9 p.m. Eastern time. So you're a little late. We're done. Really? Mm -hmm. Are you, you, looking at, you looking at a date? No. I mean, that's not the show. I'm just saying hello to, to my people right now. That's all. Oh, okay. Okay. No, cool. I had a lady on. Oh, you did? 
Yeah, you missed her. What about you? Me, I'm not. I'm not uh, here for that. <laughs> you did an episode, though, right? Remember? Oh yeah, I did an episode, but I'm not here for that no more. That was my episode. That's it. You know, you're not looking to date. Uh, I date, but um, not on here. Why not on here? That that is not made for that. <laughs> <laughs> now, what type of guy you looking for? Uh, a nice. A nice guy. Tall. He can be, yeah. Six feet. He can. What you, it's a question. What you mean? It's a question. Like he can. He can be oh. shorter too. I don't mind. Oh, you're my. Oh, okay. Mm -mm. He got to make up a certain amount of money. No, I mean not broke, but six figures. No, he doesn't have to. He can make 60, 70. Your daddy got make 60, 70,000? Mm hmm. So, why is your daddy no guy? Because <laughs> 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 I know it's a lot of those. That's what you're saying. Uh, uh, I still gotta on. like him. That's not it. Yeah, I mean, he gotta be, I gotta find him attractive, have a nice personality. You stay in LA though, right? Mm hmm So I'm sure you see a lot of guys make sixty, seventy thousand, right? I don't know. I don't ask them <laughs> if they make sixty, seventy. <laughs> You're so funny. Who? <laughs> you. How am I funny? <laughs> well, what you said? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm saying like you got a dating show, and then you, I, I'm, you said you'll date a guy that makes sixty, seventy thousand, and I'm saying I'm sure you're around that every day. Yeah, I mean, I'm in the house every day, so that's one. But um, no, they do have to have the other qualities. My right. main thing is not their pockets. My main thing is their personality and if they make me feel good. Is that true? What do you mean, is that true? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm saying, I'm sure there's a lot of guys like that around here. Good quality. You know, it's not a lot of guys with good personality. It's not? No. It's a lot of great guys. Well, I, I don't see them. I, I haven't met them in person. I'm talking about who I meet. And it's usually it's okay. It's mid, like they say. Okay. So you're not, right, you're not really looking to date like that? You just. No, I want to. But it's just if the, what I'm looking for is not there, well, it's not there, you know. Oh, okay. You you uh you tell your age or not? No, I don't. Why is that? Mm, I think it's um it allows me to have a broader audience. You know, I can talk to really young people and I can talk to older people because nobody knows where I'm at, you know. Oh, okay, okay. Where you where you from? You I know you sound like you got a little accent. Where you from? Mm -hmm. I'm from Paris. From Paris, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what's up. It's my first time seeing the show. That's why I was asking. I'm like, what is this? I thought it was a talent show. No, I know. I it kind of turned into that, but no, the talent show is tomorrow. I do have a talent show on uh, on Thursdays. I don't know if it's happening tomorrow, but usually that's when we have it. Well, the next time you're gonna be on the episode. Never. <laughs> <laughs> What you mean? Never. You I don't need to. Like, first off, I didn't really want to do it, but people, my people asked for it, and I was like, all right, I'll give in. And I did it. And it was a, a one time thing. You, you know, it was episode you gotta, 100. So. You got to shoot your shot, Melly. I shoot my shot in real life. Oh, oh okay. In real life, not on the yeah. show. Yeah, no, I don't shoot my shot. Oh, no, the show is for the ladies, and it's guys coming to shoot their shot. What you? How you pick the woman? You just you? How do you use the pick? Uh, just a good-looking girl <laughs> on okay. Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, let me see what this is about. You know, first time. So you, you say every Tuesday. What, what day you say? Wednesday, Tuesday. Uh, Mondays and Wednesdays. 
Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. I see on YouTube a lot, so I'm like, let me see what this is about. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, hopefully you come uh, when I have another girl. I'm not gonna come. If you ain't gonna come, I ain't gonna come. I'm always gonna be here. No, I'm saying shoot your shot. Oh, okay. Well, you ain't take it serious. I ain't gonna take it serious, then, right? What you mean, take it serious? It's not for me. It's for the girl. No, nah, when I said, uh, do you? Do you find love on here? You said, no, nah, I only do it in real life. Yeah. I mean, I this show, I'm just the host of the show. Right. So what's, the percentage, what's the percentage of people actually being together, though? Mm, I can't tell you the percentage, but some people I've met, some people are together. You think they'd be for, you really think the woman would be for real looking for something on here? I think most women want um, probably extra followers and stuff. But if right. they do actually meet somebody that they like, I think they'll go for it. Right, because they all pretty much say the same thing. Six feet. Six, I mean, you know the routine. Six feet, six figures, blah, but blah, that's blah. That's most women nowadays. <laughs> so Yeah. So I'm saying, like, are they really doing it seriously, though? Like, you know. They... But I think they really mean that in real life, too. It's not just they come on the show and they say it. I really believe a lot of women, that's what they're really looking for. I was shocked that you said 60, 70,000. I'm like, you? What do you mean me? I'm supposed to want what? Tell me. You see me, you think I want how much money? How much I think you want? Yeah. I mean, the price that you want? Uh, yeah. I think you want six figures, too. I don't think you really want a guy that's 60, 70,000. You'll have you'll have that, and I'm sure you can get that if you really wanted that. I mean, I can get the six figures too. That's not the point. It's not yeah. hard to get the money. You'll have to tell your age then if you want that type of guy. Why do I? Need, I mean, when I date the people, I do tell my age. It's not like a secret. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, just, <laughs> I just. I, <laughs> That's why I was asking. Like you seem like you you want that like six figures, and you know I was shocked when you said that. How do I look like I want that? Because I mean, most of the women is uh, typical, you know, that come on the show. I don't know. So, so all women want that. That's what you're saying. You do agree. A majority of them want that, right? Yeah, they do. Okay, so most women want that. You just answer the question. No, I say all. And you say yes. You got like one percent. You got you got like five or two five percent. I don't know. Percent? I don't know majority of them. Oh, okay. So out of like fifteen women that come on your show, maybe one or two will say, uh, we gotta have you gotta be nice, you gotta, you know, that type of but most of them want six feet, six figures, you know. Mm -hmm. That's and you'll even ask them too. You'll say, um, how much money he gotta make? Mm -hmm. and then yeah, say, I like those, for some it's a deal breaker so I want to hear yeah yeah okay mm -hmm. okay all right well I hope when one time you'll come and talk to the girl that I have on would it be you no <laughs> 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 I just say it's not gonna be me then, then I don't want to come on I don't want to do it I, right, well I hope you'll watch then I'll probably watch Watch. Awesome. All right. Well, you have a good night, Albino. Oh, uh, you too. I'll be in touch. I'll be in okay. touch. Okay. All right. Have a good one. Hey, Albino didn't believe me. You guys really think I'm lying when I say the guy doesn't have to have crazy money? I'm not lying. I have money. I don't care about his, really, unless. I mean, unless you're broke, broke, like we can, we can do that. It's not a situation when you're moving into my place and I'm taking care of the, of you. It's not going to be that, but I don't think you need to be rich or like make a hundred. Hey, it is what it is. Am I capping? No. Okay. So Tara is telling me, I believe you. Okay. Melly got a roster full of hoes. What? I don't even have a roster. You guys are, uh-uh. She's from overseas, so she thinks different. Yeah, like my parents, both of my parents worked, and we we tried, you know. Oh, they tried. I say we, you know. 
Oh, see Jose defending me over here talking about Meli is not lying. You guys are writing fast. Uh, is up for last count. Full of hoes. You guys are out of control. She verified. Uh, Meli is on a rotation. Am I? I'm somebody. I mean, somebody's rotation. I'm not. Um, he's also delusional. Me or he? You're talking about me? Amelie's DM is like, it's taken to an Okay. Okay. Um, all right. Well, 60 days in. What are you guys talking about? I love that show, though. I was like, I'm going to go do it. I don't know if I can be in jail for 60 days, but since you know it's fake, it's like, can you be in there? I love that show. Um, do you want kids? Yes, I do. Why many how tall are you? Six feet. Uh, all right. Anyways, you guys, we're going to go. Uh, we uh, Oh, wait, no. My lover is here. We haven't seen him in a while. I was asking about him yesterday uh, or the day before. Sir, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Nelly? I'm good. I miss you. I haven't seen you in I don't know how long. I'm sorry, I've been busy, man. You're busy, you're handling business. Hey, I like that. Even there, there, there is a lot of noise here where I'm at. How have you been doing? I'm doing good. I was, I was just talking about you on Monday, and I was like, I haven't talked to come to daddy in a long time. And I was like, I hope you're doing good. Okay, I'm doing good. I'm just hustling, you know. You know, life here is is not like where you are, mm -hmm. so I have to I have to put a lot of effort here. Okay, well I, I'm glad you're doing good. Uh, and I have missed you too. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> well, I appreciate you for taking the time and uh, coming to say. I appreciate you too, and uh, I've been thinking about you too. Okay, can you tell me what I want to hear? You, you just know you, you are still in my heart. I don't, I do not know whether you got another dad, but I'm the main one. You're the only one. Thank you, baby. <laughs> now, now, how, how? How do I see you? Will I ever see you? You're far. You're in Kenya, right? Yeah. That's a little too far for me. But but you you opened a, a traveling channel. Won't you travel to Kenya? I don't know. I don't know if I want to visit Kenya. I want to go somewhere in Africa. I don't know. I, I need to do some research and see if that's a part of Africa that I, that I want to go to. It, it, is, it is a better place. Kenya is the best place to come. Is it? Okay. Why is that? Yeah. I, it has a lot of, yes. It, ha, it has a lot of beautiful places to visit. Okay. It has a beach. I know you like beach. It has a long <laughs> beach. <laughs> I, I do like the beach. Yes. Yeah, you come to me. Okay. All right. Tell me, tell me, come to daddy. Come to daddy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I, I will try. Okay. And. Uh, and I'm waiting to for you to come and marry me. Oh, so that's the plan now? I gotta come and marry you? I didn't know that yeah. was the Yes? Do you, wait, do you have any kids already? No, no, I do not have any kids. Okay. So Even the woman in the house, I do not have one. In In Kenya, do you guys do several wives or no? In Kenya, you can do you can do whatever you like. We, we are a free country. Yeah. <laughs> he said we are a free country. 
Okay. So, so do you want to have one wife or multiple? Okay, for me, for me, I want to have a, one wife, but she has to, to match with me. What does it she mean? She has to match, yeah, and what one kid. Mean, what do you mean she has to match with you? Oh, she, she, she has to have my qualities. Your qualities? Yeah. Okay, but you only want one wife. One, one or two. Yeah, that's not bad. How is it one or two now? Yeah, one or two, but but mostly one. Okay. Okay. And well, I, well, we'll talk. If and I wanted you to be, and I wanted you to be the one. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll, we'll talk about it. Okay. It's okay. It's okay, babe. Yes. You have you have a nice night. Here already is a here already is at the morning. Yeah, I see that. So, yeah, so you 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 okay. Yes. Here? Just talk, talk. What is it? Say what you are saying. Just talk. Wait, I didn't hear. I'm I'm telling you to talk. Oh, you're telling me to talk. What do you want me to say? Yeah. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Say, say anything that you, you like about me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, okay, I like that you are a hard worker. Yes. Uh, I like that you check on me often, besides yes. this one time, because I haven't heard from you in like probably a month and a half. But it's okay. I'm so sorry. Yes. You are you you uh, you are caring. You are yes. loving. Yes. Yes. Um, you are funny. Yes. Yes. And I I love your smile. Thank you, thank you, baby. I love you too. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. You have a good night. Thank you, and you have a good day. I love you. I love you Bye. too. Bye. Yeah. Oops, sorry. Damn, uh, Machiavelli, I, hey, I love him. You guys be thinking I'm clowning. I really love him. I love his energy. Um, why did somebody say, yo, this show is funny as shit? It's not meant to be funny. I mean, kind of, but I really like him. Um, Somebody said he's going to get you pregnant. Stop it. Um, Daquan. Wait. Somebody talking about Daquan. Daquan is mad. Going to Tina Turner, you many stuff. Like, oh, really? You're talking about somebody who's going to hit me? Uh, you guys are funny. Daquan is hot now. Stop. Daquan is not here. We don't see Daquan. He's gone. Um, listen to daddy. Yes, I listen to daddy. Uh, all right, let me say hi to Yannick. Because did you why are you laughing? Your mic is off. Girl. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> I love him. You like come to daddy? I love him. Dr. Bro. I love him. Yes. Man. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> yes. Yes. How are you? Yeah, cheating. What you, you said? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, man. They I'm say good. it's Yannick Monaco. That's what they say. Yeah, Yannick is not my brother, guys. That's it. You guys be seeing black people with light eyes. You're like, oh, we are brothers and sisters. Yeah, maybe some 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 years ago, some something. way, way back, something. Excuse me. <clears throat> Bless you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So what's going yeah. on? Your mic wasn't working. Now it's working. I know. I was on my iPad earlier on. So um, mm. kind of like an older version of iPad. So I switched. But okay. I keep catching your shows very, very late. But it's a good show. You do, you do an excellent job. Thank mm. you. Yeah. 
don't don't pay mind to people who say things that aren't appropriate. Yes. Keep keep, keep in touch with uh, with what you do. For sure. Um, <clears throat> I was thinking about a concept, right? And mm-hmm. I'm just gonna throw it out there for you. Yes. It's more like discussing, you know, these dating trends and whatnot live on on your show. I don't know if you've had that type of idea, like, you know, uh, things like what to do, what not to do. You know, mm-hmm. Maybe someone comes with their situation. I don't know if you had that idea, but I think that would be a a good thing. And then as far as how we can help. There's only one thing, um, for sure, for sure. I, I agree with you. Um, whoever put that comment, yeah, I know the show is top notch. Thank and you. Complain. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> as far as, as helping, you know, as far as our way of saying thank you, there's only one way that I notice, or two ways. There's this chat, or you can like pay the other thing, but it doesn't work for my account. This is mm-hmm. Google's account, and then you have how do you call that? Um, cash app and I don't we, I think some people are not going to have cash app so if you can like you know add maybe one or two more things to it I'm okay. sure people are going to you know reach out via the different names but yeah man it's a your show is, is, is cool it's thank really, you really cool. Yeah. yeah so you're in LA yes it's good to know it's good to know yeah and you're single Yes. That's good to know. That's good mm-hmm. to know. We should we should link up uh, away from this whole thing here. Um, you know, just go out, meet, talk, see mm-hmm. what's up. So, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> what do you mean maybe? Come on. It's, it's, it's... <laughs> what what does maybe mean? Uh, maybe it's either a yes or a no. There's no, no such thing as maybe is man. Maybe so, might be a yes, might be a no. Bon, c'est ce que je suis en train de dire. About it. Ce que je suis en train de dire, c'est pour la plupart du temps, c'est toujours un oui ou un non. Il n'y a pas de, il n'y a pas d'à peu près. Les à peu près, ça veut dire que, gars, c'est, you know, à un certain âge, il faut, you know, c'est oui ou c'est non. Et c'est tranquille. Que ce soit oui ou c'est non, it's cool. It's, it is what it is. Je suis aussi à LA. Bon, je travaille beaucoup, mais I'm getting to a point where I need to, you know, just relax. Donc, tu as le temps, on, on se fait ça tranquille. Euh, je vais pas Yo, parler en... Yannick est so funny, parce que quand Yannick ne veut pas que vous vous entendiez, il change en français, c'est propre. Non, mais like... c'est, c'est pas que c'est, c'est juste qu'il y a certains trucs qui doivent être euh, privés. C'est pas, c'est pas, c'est pas tout ce qui va être euh, mm-hmm. pour tous ceux qui sont dans le chat là. Mais bon. Um, you do a good job. No. Continue comme ça. And... I will. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mais merci. De rien. De rien. Okay. Bonne nuit. Hein. Bonne nuit. Bonne soirée, ouais. Um, one more thing. Mm-hmm. On entre en contact comment déjà? C'est quoi? On entre en contact comment? How do I? Comment je te... Euh, j'ai le email. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ça, c'est, c'est plus facile. C'est sur la page YouTube. Mm-hmm. Melly okay. Monaco One. OK. OK. All right. Bon, je vais, je vais t'email. Mm, maybe not anytime soon, parce que je m'apprête à voyager. OK. I work a lot. So, mais bon, on va ouvrir, open the channels of communication, and then we see how it goes. Mm-hmm. OK. okay. Some, people, some people understood what you said, huh? Just in bon. case. <laughs> I mean, bon, c'est, c'est une minorité. Donc, si c'est ça, il n'y a pas de stress. So, OK. Yeah. All Bonne right. soirée. Hein. Merci, toi aussi. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Yeah, Yannick, you want to come on here, but you don't want people to understand what he's saying. So, um, uh, most of us in here speak French, too. OK, so see... Um, Somebody say very rude of you, Melly. I'm not the one speaking French. Uh, let's see. Last one, Jose. Hello. How are you doing? How are you I'm doing, good. Melly? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. I just want to come back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, talk about a little bit more about your show, though. Um, those matches were no good. I'm sorry. What matches? Um, the ones you put on for everybody to see. 
Wait, what? The the girls you're talking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I was talking about. Why are they no good? Um, a lot of shit like they would say, like um, she said something. Oh, you gotta pay like, like the full rent. Like that's crazy. Like stuff like that. It's like kind of red flag because. Yeah, you know I'm saying I'm kind of look at it from how a girl is kind of like seeking stuff, and it's just some things. As a uh, as a guy, you look at it, you're like, nah. You know what I'm saying like I don't know if it's a red flag. If that's something she wants, she can ask for it. Well, she ain't gonna find too many. She's gonna find know. a she's, she's gonna listen, find a simp. I don't believe that a man that pays the whole rent is a simp. I don't believe that. Mm. Wait. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. You're I believe right. um because I've met men and they wanted to pay the whole rent and I wouldn't say the sims for it. It's just I mean, they wanted to provide and that was the way that they wanted to provide. I mean they provide that way, but I think I just think it's more of a attention, you know. It's not more for like they just want to do it because that's just how they are. Some do, but I mean if you're in it for the relationship, you gotta be 50 50. I don't know. I don't know. To me, it doesn't bother me. I don't mind paying, but if I meet a guy and he wants to pay the whole rent, I'm not saying no to that either, you know? So I don't know. I don't feel like it's a red flag if a woman wants you to pay the whole rent. I don't think that. I mean, I, I personally would. I mean, we can go half, you know what I'm saying? Or maybe it depends on how far we is. You know what I'm saying? If we really bonded, and if I'm really like, you know what I'm saying? Like, we close, close. I can say, sure, you know what I'm saying? And you got to do, like, different parts. Like, you got to do something else. I mean, somebody say, no, you pay rent. She buys groceries. You all split utilities. But if you own your home, then that's just one-on-one. Yeah? That's why I say it's, it's, it's a team thing. But, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of them just do it just because... They want that. They want that validation. They want the attention. So it was just for that to happen. It's it's kind of crazy. I I don't think it's crazy. But I think it's, I think it's crazy. But anyways, anyways, I I, I just saw what I saw. So because the thing is, like when you live by yourself, you pay your whole rent. So then when you move in with the girl, why do you want her to pay half? You can afford to pay it by yourself. Since you've been doing it, so why now that she comes in, you need her to pay half? I'm not saying you're wrong. I just want to see why you feel like that. I mean, I say for the time being, you know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, if we form closer, you know what I'm saying, and we in it for a long run, we good. Like, if I don't feel like you're gonna do like some funny shady shit, like, sure, I'm a, you know. It's just certain points where, because I don't want to feel like I'm I'm getting used for the money. You know what I'm saying? Just getting by with you. Like, nah. We need to be like one yoked. You know what I mean? Yoked in. I don't know. Can't be doing all that, though. You know what I'm saying? So, so let me let me ask you this, though. Forget all that. Let me ask you this. So, like, you don't have a, a, a guy version where, like, a girl, I replaced the girl, and you know what I mean? Like, there's no none of that. I can't. I, I wish I could. I can't. I don't have a woman following. So you only have uh so you only have guy followers? Mostly. Oh, so nah, that I mean, means if I bring a guy, it's gonna be no girls following. No, nah, you need to change it. So I need to change my audience. <laughs> like I decided. No, but I, I think you got a good platform, so I think it could work both ways. Well, the, my content is mostly geared towards men, so men is my audience. Mm, you got some girl audience. You got some girl audience in there. Yeah, but that's like I can tell you, my demographic is uh, now. I think it's getting a little better, but it's ninety-two percent men. So you think the eight percent of women are gonna come and talk to you? No, they're not coming. Mm, well, they make it harder. They're not gonna show up, and so that's that. I don't have the women following, and then most women are not gonna try to come on a dating show and uh, get rejected live. It's not gonna be like that. 
See, but they can do all that to us. But you know what I mean, if we was to try to get in place now, now they gotta feel the pain, you know. Yeah, but they're not gonna come for that. <laughs> they're not coming. Oh, I know. <laughs> so that's it. I mean, I mean, you can, you can they, they got you got some. I, I know you got some audience. I know some type of audience will come. If they, they see the guy. Have- if they see a certain guy, they'd be like, you know what? Um, let me see if I can hop in there real quick. You know what I mean? The girls, they're never going to come. Like, unless I bring a celebrity. And even with a celebrity, I'm sure the girls that are going to come are going to be from his platform, not from mine. So what celebrities do you do know? What is it? So you said celebrities. Like, what celebrities do you know? Uh... I don't know. I don't know. Not that many. <laughs> you, <laughs> said celeb- you said celebrities. So I'm trying to figure. I didn't say I know them. I said it would be a celebrity. Well, does anybody else hear that? Because that was that was crazy. That was a crazy lag right here. It's like it crumbled. Your voice crumbled. Yeah, I think it's on you. I hear. I hear the, uh, some feedback. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was the only one. No, so, 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 I'm, all right, so I'm, I got one question for you, though, because my phone's about to die, too. Okay. So, how, how likely is it that I should watch the What is it? I didn't hear you. Oh, you like that? Hold on. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, your phone is acting up. <laughs> this is the Wendy's Wi-Fi. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's still doing it. Yeah, he's doing it. I can't really hear you. Mm-hmm. Well, Jose, you're gonna have to come back another day. They say okay, it's just <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Jose, you you have a good night. I'm on the other side of this video. I don't even know what you say. <laughs> okay. Good night. Good night. All right, I'm going to go. Uh, right. yeah. Yo, why somebody <laughs> You guys are too funny. Why somebody said he's, uh, he's farting? <laughs> That's what we're hearing. You guys are fucking funny. Um... But yeah, I don't know what he was trying, what the last question was. Captain Wi-Fi. All right, guys, we're out. We are out. We stayed way too, three hours and 26. Oh my God, guys. Well, I appreciate you for still being here. It's still 800 of you, 840 of you here. I appreciate you for riding with me for so long. (laughs) Somebody said Wendy's is closing. (laughs) You guys out of control. All right, so so that's it. We're, we're leaving as far as tomorrow uh, for the talent show. Uh, try to, if you don't follow me on Instagram, try to, because that's where I'll post if we're having um, a talent show or not. And um, if we're not having a talent show, then I will see you next Monday for another pineapple show. And uh, that's it. That's all we get. All right, guys, I appreciate you. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, everybody who donated to the show tonight. I appreciate you. And uh, Wendy kicked him off the wife. <laughs> and, yes, yeah, I say she doesn't like Wendy's. Um, yeah, I prefer McDonald's. Yes. All right, guys, I love you, and I will talk to you tomorrow or Monday. Good night. <laughs>